might be a little bit loud. I apologize. <laughs> Because Nick told me to. Yeah. Oh, hey! Clucking the childs. Testing, testing, testing. Dangle clacks. Dangle clacks. <clears throat> All right. Well, hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome and hello. Today is Mother Truckin' Thursday, which means it's Mother Truckin' Vlog Day. Yeah, you're in the right spot. You made it. We made it. We're here. It's hailing outside right now in Los Angeles, which is weird. Something I've never seen before, at least in LA. I've, I've never seen hail down here before, and it was pow severe. So if am I a little bit loud, that microphone a little bit hot, don't turn it down a little bit. That's fine. So if you hear thunder or I don't know, whatever hail sounds like happening in the background, just weather, it's just inclement weather happening. No big deal. Yo, yo, I too, you lunchbox. I see you guys in the chat. You can't hide from me. Jordy, Susie lady, Jay blaze, the bearded vape. God is here. The cloud chucker, Zeppo, 60 watt guy, microwave oven, low fi for llamas, Megs, <laughs> the Juan true Texan, Frank and miser, Ronnie red. Listen, you guys, I appreciate you being here tonight. Should be real good times tonight. I know it's literally just me tonight. And that's kind of a bummer, you know? Beecher was here last week and that was really very super crazy, like silly amounts of fun. Silly amounts of fun having Beecher here on the stream, the whole stream, really good times. But tonight, unfortunately, you know what? You're stuck with just uh, just old grim green. But listen, we got a full on action packed vlog for you guys coming up tonight. Yeah, did you see that on Instagram, uh, Jay Blaze? It's crazy, it was crazy. It sounded like rocks were falling from the sky. And I'm, I'm like, what is it? So I go outside. Not only did it start raining, it started hailing. Like, hor let me show you this video. Can I show you this video? Can I put this video right here? That's from Instagram. Now. Crazy. Keeping in mind, like, in a month, I'm gonna be in that pool. That's crazy. This is bananas. The weather, <laughs> really, the weather. Who saw this coming? Anyway, let me let me give you guys a real quick rundown as far as what's coming up tonight. We're gonna to trying out a, a little bit newish of a format, but uh, you know we'll cross all these bridges once we get there. And I think we might do a contest tonight. F feeling like I want to give something away, maybe a well, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge as well when we get there. But I think we're gonna do a contest tonight. If anybody wants to do a contest, just let me know in the chat. Say, fucking hell yeah, hell yeah contest. It'll be a good one. It's going to require emailing, but that's a whole other uh, that's a whole other thing. Hello, what's up? Welcome, you guys. We're going to have a beer first and foremost. Um, we're going to have what I've been vaping. We're going to do Assignment America, of course. There's going to be some news and advocacy in there as well. We've got a retro vape for sure. I have two retro vapes for some reason, but I didn't write down two retro vapes. So if there's a second retro vape available, like time wise for us, uh, then we'll definitely dig into it. Uh, like I said, some news and advocacy, getting to know Grim Green. We're going to talk about our record. We went record shopping. So I want to talk about a record. Um, we're going to do birthdays. We're going to have a very random liquid tasting. We're going to, we're going to have a damn hell ass good time tonight. I guess the first thing I have to announce, even though it's not really official, I'm just really very excited. I'm finally, you guys, after vaping, you know, all of these products from Indonesia, I'm finally, I'm happy to announce I'm going to be going to Indonesia in May to attend the vape fair. Boosh 9000. I can't wait. I'm going to bring all my camera stuff. So I'm going to try to film the whole thing and bring back a piece of like, you know, Indonesia vape scene. Just really overly excited, really very overly excited for Indonesia. Get getting get to go hang out with Beecher again, you know. <laughs> get to hang out with Beecher again in a, in a different country, and uh, it should be really good times. It should be really good times. I'm I'm very sad that I can't go to Germany this year, but I think Indonesia, I think Indonesia is going to be a, a a nice a nice little trip, a nice little adventure. Listen, I would love to get back to Switzerland, Andreas. I see you there. Hello to Switzerland. Would love, love nothing more than to get back to Switzerland. Good Lord. What an incredible country. 
What a really great country. Yeah, take Bogan, take Bogan to, to Indonesia. Listen, I'm, I've been thinking about Bogan a lot recently, especially when we talk about what's coming up from, for the UK. Love to Bangladesh. Hell yeah, I see you there. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name because uh, I'm American and I'll do it wrong. But uh, big love to Bangladesh. Big love to Bangladesh. Hell yeah, Bangladesh. In fact, things could be turning around in Bangladesh. Things could be turning around in Bangladesh for uh, as far as harm reduction, vaping and the such as. I see you over there, con man, keeping it real on uh, on Twitch. In fact, there should be emotes happening if anybody is using any emotes on Twitch. But hell yeah. Hell yeah. Happy to see you guys here. Taking the dude. <laughs> taking the dude. Are you taking the dude to Indonesia? The dude RDA? The best RDA that's ever been released ever on a <laughs> ever into the vape space. We might also have a little bit of AI art uh, somewhere in there. Listen, tonight is going to be just a, a lot of winging. There's going to be a lot of winging going on tonight. Um, I said earlier that I didn't have any vape mail, and that's not actually true. I have one singular package here, so we will get to open. We will get to open something up. But the first thing that I really want to do is drink a beer, and the best way that I know how to do that is to ah is to go and buy a beer. Twitch is super glitch. I'm sorry that Twitch is super glitch right now. I'm sorry. Well, you know, you know, YouTube is like the home base of the vlog and like the Twitch is like a tertiary, like a satellite, you know, like at the middle school, at your middle school, which I think this was at everybody's middle school, there was like, you know, the double wide that was like the band room. That's what the Twitch is to, to the vlog. I see you over there, great effing shark over there on Twitch, keeping it real, I appreciate that. Um, right now, it's time. Uh, I did go and do some beer shopping, so you get to meet Beer Guy. Take it away, Beer Guy. Let's go beer shopping, shall we? Hi, I'm Beer Guy. play music in the store all the time so I can't really talk. Well, we did it. They got a big box. Oh, yeah. There's like this trend now within like, I don't know, the, the BevMo world, I guess, of like beer, wine, alcohol, whatever. And maybe I sound like an ancient person when I say this, but there's a lot of like hard seltzers, hard sodas that are just, there's a whole aisle for them now that I've never really seen before. And I actually didn't buy any, but I just stood and looked at them and thinking, this is, this is essentially just soda with alcohol. Like that's where we're at. Great. I love it. Bring it on. Soda with alcohol has just been normalized and that's fine. Ayinger. I grabbed a Weinenstefana Vitus. Or maybe it's backwards. Maybe it's Weinenstefana Vitus. I see this beer literally every time I go to BevMo and I never buy it. But today I finally caved and bought the banana bread beer from Eagle Brewing. Eagle Brewing. I tend to go for some of my favorites. So yeah, there's a Trappist 10 in here. There's an Arrogant Bastard. There's a St. Bernardus because it's like my, my favorite beer of all time and there's the vlog there's a beer for the vlog tonight which let's get get on with it drink the beer drink the beer this has been beer guy peace out home skillet oh it was supposed to go to that's dumb dangle clack was supposed to go to the next scene hey thanks beer guy this is the beer that i bought for tonight literally I bought this beer. It says Belgian style blonde ale. And I'm like, okay, that sounds like a beer that I would drink. I don't really care so much about that, but I was just really fascinated by this packaging. I, I'm just really fascinated that alcohol gets away with so much, 
So, that's insane. If this was a nicotine bottle, it would, I mean, this would be banned before it could even hit the market. But this is the beer we got tonight. It's from a company called Black Hammer. You can't quite tell what that letter is, but it's called Black Hammer Brewing Company. And the name of the beer is called Sparkle Pony. Sparkle Pony. I, Megs, also love this label. It, I was immediately drawn to it. And I went, well, going to taste that. We got Bl Black Hammer Brewing Company Sparkle Pony. <laughs> Sparkle Pony. <laughs> they say fruity aroma, silky smooth multi body, and bright noble hops. Belgian style blonde ale, 6.9%. One, two, three. Let's go. Just going to pour this. I don't know if this is going to be good, bad. Otherwise, I again literally only bought it for the label. Just bought it for the label. Thought that looked so sick and thought like, th this is like. That's where vaping's gonna get, you know? This is where vaping's gonna get. We're gonna be allowed at some point in the distant future to have some other truck and Sparkle Pony e-liquids if we wanted to. Doesn't that look like something you wanna drink, pour in your face? The camera's much farther away, so I can't reach it. Ready? Cheers! Oh, it's not fair yet! Boom, okay, cheers. Cheers. I hope you have something delicious. Does not have to be booze next to you tonight. Cheers. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's some uh, Belgian characteristic there for sure. There's like s some slightly floral notes, some f slightly floral notes. Yeah, it says fruity aroma, silky smooth, multi body. Yeah, it's real bright. It's real clean. It's real smooth. It's real, you know, clean, I guess. On the drink down, there's not much of a lot of residuals hanging out in my mouth there, Ryan Holloway. Sup to you. Sup to you, Ryan. I saw you sneak in there. Appreciate you. <laughs> Black Hammer Brewing Company. And I happened to go online. <laughs> online. What year is it? I went to America Online. And I was trying to find some reviews for this. Difficult to find reviews. And the few reviews that I have found are not really great. This person says, um, this is not an American blonde. It's a Belgian blonde or a pale ale, according to my taste buds. And the brewery, unfortunately, at the brewery, and unfortunately, it's an undrinkable mess. Oh, he called it an undrinkable mess. Weird fruit juice taste with a slight dry yeasty flavor. Thickish body, flat, undrinkable. Wow. Bummer. That's a scathing review. I'll, I'll be a little bit more gentle with this. It's perfectly fine. It's not an undrinkable mess. There's some Belgian characteristics to it. Some citrus, some like stone fruit kind of low notes to it. It's got a big body. There is a bit of like a... <laughs> lingering on the second drink down there's like a little lingering there's like a little lingery something that i can't quite it, it, if it was coffee i would probably call it if it was coffee i would probably call it like dank because we use dank as like a negative term but the dankness see i can't use dank as a negative term no one's going to believe me that we used dank as a negative term, but we did. We used dank as a negative term because in coffee, things aren't supposed to be dank. And when dank, the actual like flavor of dank exists, it tastes like, uh, don't like a wet basement. That's the best way I can describe dank <laughs> is yeah, sure. Yeasty. It, it is yeasty, but it's more of like a, uh, it's more of like a wet basement kind of aftertaste. I can't. Yeah, the guy that wrote that review has a curly mustache and wears suspenders. Yeah, he, he brews his own, you know, <laughs> brews his own, his own IPA, his own apricot IPA. Dank shed time is good. Dank everything else is good. Dank coffee's bad and dank beer. Look, dank beer can be good, but it's actually a little bit dank. Not in like the dank way, in like a dank, like a non-good dank way. I don't know that I would call this a mess. I would just call this super average. And if this was in any other can, 
Uh, I, I don't think it would, I don't think it would have hit with me if this was just in a boring beer can or something. I don't know. Just Dave's beer. It's like Dave's sparkle pony. Still okay. Still slightly okay. Uh, I would like to pair something with it, but nothing. Guava was maybe, would guava jelly pair with this? What's in you? Nope. I don't have any tobaccos. I've got no like, I've got nothing to pair this with. Like genuinely nothing. Guava, let's try some guava. Let's try some mouth to lung guava tasting with this. According to my grand, dank weather is very bad. Yeah. Dank can be one of those like, it's either dank or it's dank. And same thing. Yeah, musty, swazzy. Musty is a good way to describe it. Musty, dank, musty. Musty is actually probably way better. Swazzy, that's all you. Musty is a much better musty. We're going to go with the, the swazzy musty. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually, not, that's actually not too bad. I kind of just want to try it with this mango. Why not? Let's try it with some POA. Let's try it with some old school. POA. Uh, pretty good right there. That's pretty good. This is a weird beer. I wish I had a, a tobacco or something a little bit more dank, you know, to throw on here, but some tobacco would pair with it pretty well. Ah, listen, it's not the best beer I've ever had. It's far from the worst beer I've ever had. And it's, you know, that's a sick, that's a sick can. Come on. Sparkle Pony, Sparkle Pony, Sparkle Pony for everybody. Sparkle Ponies galore. I have Sparkle Ponies coming out of our ears. Yeah, great. Here we are after some beer. Uh, let's real quickly, now that we have a beer sort of coursing through our system, I hope everybody has a good uh, beverage with them tonight. Jeremy M., your wife's drinking a her Mountain Dew. You're drinking water. Amazing. Amazing. Please stay hydrated. <clears throat> yeah. Please, please stay hydrated. 100%. Mountain Dew. Oh, no. Speaking of staying hydrated. Oh, man. You are empty as fuck and need to be cleaned. Can I go get some water real quick? I'll just, I'll just wait for a second. I'll just wait for a second. I can hydrate in a minute. I can hydrate in a minute. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll just go, I'll just go get some water while what I've been vaping is on. Uh, real quickly, just want to mention a few things I've been vaping. It's been too much. No, not rank, dank. Sparkle pony on acid. Raw Chuck, Sparkle Pony on Acid. That's the pairing. That's the pairing right there. Pony on Acid, Sparkle Pony. How did I not put that together? <laughs> How did I not put that together? That's crazy. Pony, Sparkle Pony. Sparkle Pony on Acid. Sparkle Pony on Acid. Damn, that's good. That's good. That's good stuff. <laughs> Sparkle pony on acid. Yes. Well, I would actually like to talk a few, uh, talk about a few things I've been uh, vaping recently. Um, it's a little bit excessive, and I one of we're gonna. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. I'm gonna throw it right now to kitchen guy in the kitchen to talk about some things I've been vaping or we've been vaping. He's been vaping. I don't know how to do this bit. I don't. I don't know if to if we're, I'm supposed to pretend that I'm all of these people or that all of these people are separate people, but they talk in the first person no, no matter where they are. Anyway, kitchen guy, please take it away. What I've been Thank you, office guy. And I didn't think I'd be saying this anytime soon, but I'm going to throw it to living room couch guy. Baby. Couch guy, couch guy, couch guy, couch guy, couch guy, couch guy. What's up, everybody? What's up? It's couch guy. 
yeah, I missed you. That's crazy. I feel like I've been gone a little bit too long. Feels good to be back now, 100% back, uh, 100% back, right? 100% back, right? Hey, well, Beecher came by this weekend, which means time was spent in the living room. We watched TV. We watched a movie. It was incredible. My wife and I watched this movie called Reality. I can't remember what streaming service it's on, if it's Apple TV Plus or if it's uh, HBO. Really good. 10 out of 10 would recommend this movie called Reality. It's got that, uh, you know, can't remember her name. Sydney Sweeney. (sighs) Well, see, I was so excited there for a second because I missed you guys so much, but really there's only one thing out here. Just, it's just a vape. It's just the Raga. It's just the Raga with a dirty battery wrap I can't show you. And the Svoy Mesto K-Fun Boro on the inside, which look, it's been enjoyable. It's been pretty damn flavorful. Get a little bit of crackle from that 26 gauge wire in there. And I get obviously substantially, I think we've been over this, substantially much better flavor than a 22 gauge round wire build in here. feel like my time is already over because I talked about what's been getting vaped out here and I'm just trying to drag it out even longer. And uh, I, I can't, I got, I got nothing else. So throwing it to kitchen guy. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. What a nice little treat for living room guy. He's got his little Raga AIO out there. It's almost adorable. But if we want to know the things that I've really been vaping, which is honestly too much, too much. Beecher comes over, too much comes out here. First things first, there's a few pods. There's a cross, there's a feeling axe, and there's an Oxva Slim SQ Pro. They're all really very super solid. There's a Pure Max out here. Of course, the Pure Max is getting a lot of use. And what? We opened this, I think, two weeks ago now. The RE, RE1. It's got like a PCC charging case, and this little battery is 800 ma on its own. I, I'm almost ashamed to admit how much I've been enjoying this. Crown X, hanging out hard out here. It's filled with that fried cookie from uh, Hex Juice Coil Turd out of Indonesia. Freaking delicious. I mean, unbelievable. This is the, the one of the best little pocket cloud chaser guys that I've come across in, uh, like, in recent memory. The battery seems to be dying a little bit quicker than I thought it would, so maybe I need to keep an eye on that for at least another week before it gets a full review, but Crown X, pleasantly surprised right now. I genuinely don't think I'm ever, ever going to grow tired of the Moo Mods Karasu number 11 with the Typhon GT4S on top. Restricted lung, Sifu mustache, and his lemons hope is in here freaking delicious. It's just got flavor for days and hand feel for days. And that GT4S, good lord, this is a top tier RTA, top tier, undeniably a top tier RTA. Also a top tier RTA, but maybe like not an undeniable top tier RTA, or I guess it is kind of undeniable. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a K fun on top of a mix. This was part of the 26 gauge round wire extravaganza. So I put some 26 gauge round wire in this K fun to see, you know, how the, how the flavor holds up in the face of like 2024 modern vape gear. I'm happy to say, ah, it holds up pretty okay. It's still pretty okay flavor. I think the crackle and the airflow are, you know, sort of contributing much more to my enjoyment of this than just the pure flavor, although the pure flavor is good. I don't know. I've been on, I've been on a tear lately about flavor and whatever. It's a whole, satisfyingly, wholly satisfying experience. And you're not going to believe it. <laughs> you're literally not going to believe it. The Dude RDA. The dude RDA made it out here. I've overdripped it. Last week, and I think what can only be described as the best vlog that's ever been on this YouTube, we watched Beecher the Coil Turd struggle to build this for like 30 solid minutes, and rightfully so. It's a nightmare. It's a pain in the ass. I, 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 think, I think I could vote if we were voting, which I don't think we're voting, but if we are voting, I would vote for the dude RDA to be, I think the worst RDA ever released 
on the vape market. It's actually pretty hard to say that because Ryan, Squidude and I were, were pretty close for a number of years. I haven't talked to the guy in, in, in probably seven or eight years, but this RDA, I think as far as like the grim green sphere is concerned, like my reach, the dude, it wins the worst RDA ever. But there's something about that airflow that I just enjoy and I can't explain it because it's not like objectively good. It's not really overtly smooth. There's a little bit of sharpness. There's a little bit of turbulence, but there's something about it. I'm just really very enjoying the event horizon from Twisted Timmy's on the inside probably isn't hurting things at all. I'll show you a picture of the of the single coil that I eventually, eventually, eventually got installed in there on the Tuesday vape fiddle, but it was a mess. It was a nightmare. It took me so many tries and that one lead is just twisted beyond words. It's the dude RDA. Worst of all time. We know what the last thing is going to be. It's, it's going to be the hammer of God. It's going to be the TM24 Pro Series on top and it's going to be the Sonoran Strawberry from Coil Turd Hex Juice out of Indonesia. Damn. Damn hell ass good. This is a true, like this is a true tabletop warrior, desk warrior. I don't think I personally, and I know a lot of people do, but I don't think I personally would rock the hammer of God like anywhere outside of my house, maybe in the car. I could see that on a, on a long ass road trip having four 18650s, that might be rad. But just because of the form factor and the size of it, it is firmly, at least in my world, a firm desk warrior, just obscenely reliable, obscenely powerful, obscenely long lasting just so reliable that's what i keep coming back to it's reliable it's reliable i know that when i hit that button i'm i'm gonna have a good vape oh no no not lastly i have a squonk still <laughs> i have a green grim army empire squonk with the you know acidy bath battery wrap on the inside zoo one is on top strawberry swirl is on the inside this just got a fresh battery. This just got a refilled squonk bottle. That's that's the fit. That's the best time in a squonk is a fresh battery, full bottle squonk happiness. Believe it or not, there's another squonker that I know is a desk warrior right now. You're not going to believe it. I'm going to throw it back to desk guy. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, you got me. It's the demented design. It's a demented designs. Demented designs. Have a good night at work. It's the defiant designs. Uh, DS, this is it. We had a, you know, whatever. It was a very lively, I feel I would describe it as jovial. We had like a jovial discussion about the, the Defiant Designs DS last week with Beecher and I've been using it. I've been using it, not literate, not just because it's the DS, but because uh, it, it's an Ashton Palmer, you know, of all of them that I kept, this is the only one that I kept because it's the only one that really was like a super meaningful thing to me as a gift from Ashton Palmer, you know, Grim Army in the, this is one of a kind all over it. Blue recoil, matchy blue recoil, matchy blue tip. Look at this tip. I want to try to show you this tip. Can I show you this tip through here? Nope. I mean, kind of, yes, that is a sick tip. Look at this tip. That's so sick. It's just black and gray, or it's just black and blue, and it matches so freaking perfectly, and Ashton Palmer is so freaking skilled. Yeah, I've been using it, but, but, mm, I've been holding it my way. I've been holding it this way. It's just the easiest way for me to hold it. I hold it in my hand like this and I hit the fire button with my thumb. And when I want to squonk, I just do one of these numbers, you know? And that's part of the fun of it, in my opinion, is the hand feel is so like beautifully weighted and beautifully rounded that I don't mind. Like I want to flip it around in my hand in order to vape it the way that I like to vape it. But boosh, squonk it up, boom, flip it press. It's more fun. It's, it's more fun, right? It's a little bit more fun. I got some, uh, uh, what did we put in here last week? That floss. It's an unbelievable liquid, unbelievable liquid. And it's been rad and hitting hard and, uh, it's kind of a banger. I still stand by that it's easier to hold it like this than like this. 
because that why 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 on the pinky hashtag weak pinkies but i still stand by that you know i still stand by that and despite everything you watched last week beecher and i are still really good friends you know we're still really good friends until i drop it yeah until i drop it that's why you got to practice oz that's why you got to practice you know uh if i had like a favorite vape of the week it's gonna be this I set this up on Tuesday over there on the fiddle. Whoops, not that side. That's the dirty battery side. It's the Atlas. It's the Atlas with the Danny V3 30 millimeter RDA on top. We put some uh, three and a half. I think they were like three and a half, four millimeter coils in here. They came out to a 0.09. I've been vaping it with some fluid. Yeah, this is the Mango & Co. I was encouraged on that stream to try this. And it's kind of unbelievable. <laughs> it's a coconut ice cream with mango syrup and whoa, good, good. I love that liquid. I'm really into this Danny V3. I like the airflow on it closed down about halfway. Whoops, not that one, about halfway, about that far. I guess that's a little less than halfway, right? It's a, it's a little bit less than halfway. If I'm going to be real with myself, let's turn it off like that. Yeah, it's, I guess it's, I've been rocking it like that. It's kind of turkey, you know, M turkey. It's kind of set off to the side. And so you're not really adjusting the airflow right in front of your coil, but it, it, it should still get there, you know, it should still get there. This, this has been the king of the desk. That combo, that flavor combo in that mech hits so hard. That's kind of been the, the king of the desk. I've been having a love affair with this little number. This is the Infinite Ohm. It has a silly name like the ESPS or the PSDS or the DSES or the PSPP. It's something weird, but it's 3D printed, fully mechanical, buttons on both sides, 18650 or 20650. I haven't reviewed this yet because I was trying to track down some 2650 batteries, but I think I'm just going to end up reviewing this. Lunar Sweet Mangoes on the inside. NTSU. Shout out to you, TJ. Boosh 9000. Dylan, do you like disposables or not? What's your opinion on disposables? Oh, man. Dylan, you just opened a whole can of worms that this chat is not wanting to hear all over again. I, I don't use disposables, but I encourage everybody else to use disposables. I encourage anybody to use any safer nicotine product that is not cigarettes, period. I'm a harm reduction absolutist. So if you use disposables, rad. If you use snooze, rad. If you use nick pouches, rad. If you use cloud chasing, rad. If you use restricted lung, rad. If you use a rebuildable boro, rad. If you use a pod, rad. If you use anything that's not cigarettes, I'm on board. I will be your cheerleader. It's rad. It's good. It's not, you know, there's nuance to it. So initially the concern is just get the person off of cigarettes. That's, that's all my initial concern ever is. Just stop smoking cigarettes. Once we get you into vape, then there's a whole world of, of vape stuff that we can explore. You know, disposables, I don't think are really viable and sort of like a financial long-term situation. I think pods are cheaper than that. And I think rebuildables are even more cost-effective than that. But ultimately, at the end of the day, anything, anything that's not cigarettes, <laughs> I'm good. Because that's the point of all of this. That's the point of all of this. It's the point of all of this isn't, the best flavor from a boro, although that is included. The point of this isn't, you know, powder coating on a mech mod, which is an important part of it. That's not the point. The point is this is not smoking cigarettes. So as long as we're not smoking cigarettes, we're all on the same page. Everything else after that is just fun, debatable stuff of whether or not things have certain better flavor than others or whether or not this mech mod hits harder than that other mech mod. And that's part of the fun of the vape community. But smoking cigarettes... That's it. That's the, that's all that needs to stop lozenges gum. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Alex Clark from Casa, his dad quit smoking cigarettes using a nicotine gum and then just 
chewed nicotine gum for like 30 plus years, just kept chewing nicotine gum. It kept him off of cigarettes. So there is gum, lozenges, pouches, toothpicks, whatever, whatever. As long as we're not lighting things on fire, we're good. We're good. It's all harm reduction. You know, it's all harm reduction. And yeah, soft carrots, you make an unbelievable point. And that's one of the things that makes me so fucking upset about the UK disposable ban is disposables are great for the elderly and physically impaired. It's like, yeah, I would love everybody to build their own RDA. I'd love everybody to build their own Boro even. But the reality is there's people that are never going to be able to do that because they lack the vision, the physical dexterity, for whatever reasons, arthritis and injuries and age and things happen. And people with brain diseases like dementia who you know, still smoke cigarettes, give them a disposable. It doesn't matter if they lose it or sit on it or step on it or whatever. Those people, those people who smoke cigarettes absolutely benefit from a disposable. Absolutely. I feel like, you know, I've said this way too many times, but I think as soon as we get people off of cigarettes, as soon as 8 million people every year stop dying from, from the toll of smoking combustible cigarettes, Maybe then, after we've stopped all that death, then we can have a discussion about how do we recycle the batteries from disposables or plastics or what's the best way to vape from this or a pod or disposable. We can have more nuanced conversations later after, after we stop people from fucking dying from cigarettes. That's, that's my hard stance, my hard stance. Uh, and with that said, uh, I enjoy it and uh, I, I enjoy it all. I love it and enjoy it all. I even have a disposable that's not in here right now. Um, it's out with Kitchen Guy. He doesn't like to talk about it, but he's got a Turk disposable experiment that is uh, amazing. It's unbelievable. It's, it's, it's an incredible flavor. It's incredibly satisfying. I think back to when I tried to switch from smoking to vaping. If I had had a Turk spearmint disposable, that's it. Game over. I would have switched in a minute instead of, you know, the two months it took me to switch on like the worst gear available in the world. So yeah, that's where I stand. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sidetracked right there, but uh, real quickly, real quickly, I promise I'm going to read the super chats, the hella chats, but before that, before that, Even louder, man. America, this is you. Oh, just feel the nostalgia wash over you. Feel the nostalgia wash over you. We're going to do some Assignment Americas. This is you guys. You know what I've been vaping, but I would like to know what America or the globe has been vaping, worldwide vaping. So uh, if you're in the, you know, the general area of our planet, Please send over Assignment Planet Globe, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, Assignment Planet Globe. Chances are I will see the attachment. It will get downloaded, filed, and used accordingly. But uh, here is some Assignment Planet Globes that I just received from uh, Zion Vlogs. Where are you at, Zion Vlogs? Are you here tonight? This email just came from Vape Universe. But it says, uh, yo, yo, Nick, hope this finds you well. This is Zion Vlogs from YouTube and chat. Mostly replay crew, though, sending you my Assignment America. I don't know if people still use Genesis atomizers these days, but I and some of my friends still do love them. Here's a pic of my daily bangers. On the left, Stratum version 10 diacodes with the Paravaz Cool 9. Jenny on top? That's a Jenny on top? Real is is the device the Stratum V10? Yeah, the Stratum V10. Has, has Stratum ever made bad products? Has Stratum ever made anything dumb? No. The answer to that is no. Stratum just cranks out awesomeness. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Australia, but it's probably not gonna be uh, more towards the end uh, end of the vlog. Um, just for the Australians in the in the chat. Shiro Concepts Kaido. The smallest DNA 60 on the planet with a Paravaz version 10.1, I'm assuming is a Genesis atomizer. Sick. Both of those are so sick. Uh, 
Uh, Zion says, I dare you to do a Jenny retro on the vlog someday. Longtime viewer, huge fan. Wish you a happy new year and success in every steps. Take care, buddy. Keep them coming. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Mr. Zion vlogs. Rad, I do not use Genesis atomizers. Although today, while I was going through some retro vapey stuff, I did find a really weird uh, Genesis atomizer that I don't think I've ever seen before. I don't think I've ever used before. I don't really even know where it came from. It's real weird. And I, I'll, I'll explain it. Some, we'll do it for a retro vape. We'll do it for a retro vape soon. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll check, we'll do a retro vape soon. We'll do a retro vape soon. Uh, Jacob, J where's Jacob sent in this little picture. So Jacob says, Hey Nick, I've uh, been watching you for a long time and getting into DIY lately. I've been starting to watch your vlogs while I mix. Love your stuff. Keep fighting the good fight, dude. I love this. Jacob. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for rocking the vlog in the background. I don't know what mech or RTA that is. I just don't know. And I don't know what's in front of that. That's got to be a geek vape something. But look, you got a whole mess of DIYs right there. Can't read any of the labels. Hey, appreciate you mixing while the vlog's on. I love the idea of that. I like the idea of like a grim green stream or a vlog coming on or maybe the fiddle or something. And people are just re-wicking or mixing or, you know, knocking out some quad core aliens on the drill, you know. King Sammy. King Sammy's keeping it real on Twitch. My room smells like blueberries. My room smells like, I don't know, I can't smell anything but beer right now. Delicious. Okay, so does anybody remember Tiff Love? There's no email attached to it. Tiff Love sent in an Assignment America and behind all of her vapes, were VHS tapes. Does anybody remember this? Please tell me you remember this. VHS tapes. And I, in her assignment America, I said, can we please see the VHS tapes behind all your devices? I want to know what VHS tapes you have. We got them. We got them. We can see all these VHS tapes and I'm excited. Let's see what Tiff Love has for VHS tapes. Okay, Adam's Family, sure. Dawn of the Dead, love it. Night of the Living Dead, love it. Maniac, sure, haven't seen it. Terminator 3, interesting choice. The Terminator Collection, of course. Terminator, Terminator 2. I think Terminator 2 is one of the best movies like ever made. Mad Max, Road Warrior, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Who could forget Tina Turner's film debut in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome? Wizard of Oz, Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Black Cat, Rammstein, and then uh, Marilyn Manson, and then something from Blockbuster there on the end. But wait. There, okay, Stepford Wives, Woman Unchained, Poison Ivy. Hey, now. I think we all remember Poison Ivy. At least I remember Poison Ivy. Watched a... I watched a few parts of that movie a bunch of times. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Hocus Pocus, Madam Satan. No idea what that is. Sounds like something I'd probably be into. Death Becomes Her, The Craft. Uh, Death, I almost watched Death Becomes Her recently. That's a good movie. The Craft, Maniac Nurses, Find Ecstasy, the Brady Bunch movie, and a very Brady sequel. I like that Tiff loves just all over the place. But wait, RoboCop. RoboCop 2, RoboCop 3, hell yeah. Judge Dredd, hell yeah. Total Recall, hell yeah. Starship Troopers, Hollow Man. Hollow Man's such a good movie. Hollow Man's such an underrated movie. Hollow Man, Basic Instinct, classic. Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, something, Splendor. I don't know what that is. Nowhere, I don't know what that is. The Doom Generation, The Living Dead, a Bride of Reanimator, which is a, that's a deep cut. That's a deep cut. That, that is a deep cut. The Bride of Reanimator. I don't know when the last time I saw Bride of Reanimator was. House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, She-Wolf of the SS, The Wicked Warden. I like where these are going. Harlem Keeper of the Oil Sheiks. Something else on the end. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tiff Love. Thank you for sharing your, your schlocky B movies that I love. Robocop. What Robocop one of the greatest movies just of all time. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah. Poison Ivy? Well, you know. I did get really into Chucky for a hot minute. There was like, it was like eighth grade, eighth grade winter break. It was like eighth grade, and I was really into Chucky. I think something was coming out and the tagline was more Chuck for the buck. And I just loved that from the, from the Chucky from the Child's Play movies, more more Chuck for the buck. Love the hell out of that. All right. Well, hang on. There's uh at least two more. D Dietrich. D Dietrich. Plus VHS tapes. Plus VHS tapes. Uh, I have not ever seen Brobocop, Risky Business, but it sounds like something I would like. <laughs> I like terrible B movies. So good. D. Dietrich. D. Dietrich sent this in with n almost no context. That's a steam crave on the side with a rabbit something. Dead rabbit RTA, I'm assuming. Twisted Timmy's all over the place. 21 grams, Gulf Breeze, Paradigm Shift. Hell yeah. There's a vlog on in the background. Hell yeah. Odin 2 right there. Something on top. And a Grim Army Hex. Or a Grim Army Hex. A Grim Army Empire with something on top. That's an RDA for vaping. That's an RDA for vaping on top. D. Dietrich. I don't know your real name. But I, I, I believe that you have been following me for a while. I recognize your name. And I want to say that I've seen a picture of you in black and white wearing like a, like a fedora or something, like a, a hat with a brim or something on it. Am I wrong here, dude? I recognize you. And thank you, thank you, thank you for sending in an assignment, America. I'm glad you jam on those Twisted Timmies. They slap hard. The Weiss. This is Brian sending in his, and he has an email attached, or no, he doesn't. Brian does not have an email attached, so I'm going to say yo, yo, and hell yeah, that's a Segeli up front with a geek vape. That's a dead rabbit with a gar? That's a gar, and I recognize the gar because I have a gar now. A gar, uh, something else next to that. Don't know. Don't know what's on top. I don't know what's next to that. That's a geek vape something with a Valhalla on top, maybe. That's a Vupu right there. That's a geek vape right there. That's another thing right there on the end. Brian, yo, yo, to you. Thank you. I appreciate you sending these in. I like seeing daily bangers. I like seeing people. I like seeing it all. I like seeing daily bangers. I like seeing people's collections. I like seeing, you know, the most, the, the, the most prized possessions that people have. But if anybody's interested, House of a Thousand Corpses. Yeah. You remember that uh, Dwight Schrute was in House of a Thousand Corpses? Remember that? Remember? You remember. <laughs> you remember. If anybody else out there has a pictures, videos, whatever of your gear, your setups. I want to see them. Send them on over to me, nick at grimgreen.com. Just mark your subject, assignment, planet, globe. It'll get seen. It'll get filed. It'll get used accordingly. But thank you guys for sending those in. That's what you've been vaping. And I think too much time has passed and there's, there's super chats to be had and hella chats to be had. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. First, I'm going to check the hella chats first. Ha! Huh. What do you think of that, New Wave Dave? Huh? What do you think of that? That's right, I had one from uh, New Wave Dave. Appreciate that, New Wave Dave. Uh, New Wave Dave says, uh, My cat and I went to a strip club to get back at me for, well, who knows? He took me to eat burritos, and when I asked, and when I wasn't looking, he slipped a turbo lax in my drink. I was getting a lap dance when it hit. I couldn't get up fast enough. <laughs> Did you mean the end of that to be like double meaning? You couldn't get up fast enough. Couldn't get up. Strip club. Boners. Poop. I don't know. That was a very meta joke, New Wave Dave. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you and your cat 
which by the way, I'm never hanging out with you guys, never hanging out with you or your cat. Maybe you, New Wave Dave, definitely not your cat. I feel like he has it out for me. So let's just, uh, let's move on to them super chats over there. Chef Seamus, that's very gracious of you. Still stuck at work. Let's see if it makes it before the super chats get read. Let's see if I make it before the super chats get read. Yo, yo, everybody. Happy Thursday. Boosh. Happy Thursday to you, Chef Seamus. Stephen Lane says, uh, an advocate for liberty. Tim's birthday is on the 11th. Where's my pen? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Advocate for liberty. Threw it on there, Stephen Lane. Good on you. Good looking out there. Uh, we got Ringo in the house. Uh, the panels for my Pulse 2 squonker finally broke, re broke beyond repair, so he placed it with an Orange Empire. Been using it for about 35 minutes and enjoying it. Ringo, appreciate you. That's rad. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it brings you just thousands of puffs. Just thousands and thousands and thousands of puffs, Ringo. Thousands. Millions, even. George boy. I George boy. Uh, yo, yo, Nick, I'm lurking. Just got home from the hospital. Not going to pout it. Don't want to bring the blog down. Oh, love you, bro. Georgia boy. I love you, man. I love you. Uh, let's, let's chat later. Are you going to be in the hangs? I'm rooting for you, Georgia boy. I always am. Appreciate you. Hi, Georgia boy. Legend. Legend. Terry, love you. Hey, Terry, love you too. Love you too. Appreciate that, you guys. That's that's really nice of the super chats. There's never any obligation, but it's it's always very very appreciated. Now let's see. We did what I've been vaping. Assignment Planet Globe. Okay, so here's how we're gonna switch it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of news now, just a little bit, just a tiny little bit of news, and then we're gonna move on, and then we're gonna do a little bit of news later, and then we're gonna move on, and then we're gonna do a little little bit of news a little bit later, and then we're gonna move on. My only reasoning is. I love the news and advocacy, but I feel like the big chunk of news and advocacy is just too much and too big and too overwhelming and too much stuff. And it, it just sends me into a tizzy. So I'm just breaking it up and we're going to break it up into three little segments tonight. And the first segment is going to be US. The second segment is going to be the UK. And then finally, we're going to land up uh, with Australia and check in and see how things are going in Australia. So right now, <gasps> shoot, hang on. I don't have a news bumper anymore. I, I'm not used to doing this live. Oh, no. Okay, real quick. There it is. Let's just real quickly talk about some USA news. Right now, this is purely, purely USA, United States news. And the first thing, the only thing that matters are the PMTA registry bills in the United States news chunks, hashtag news chunks, hashtag news chunks. Here's the first news chunk, PMTA registry bills. If you're in a state, if you're in a state in America, you need to be concerned about the PMTA registry bills. If you're in a state in gold, they're considering PMTA registry bills. If you're in a state that's red, you already have a PMTA registry bill in your state, in Oklahoma, Louisiana, Alabama, and Wisconsin. The only legal vapes on the market will be from Big Tobacco. This is the Big Tobacco Protection Act. This is, it's better to call it the Big Tobacco Monopoly Act because Big Tobacco is supporting these PMTA registry bills, obviously, because if they pass, now Oklahoma, Louisiana, Wisconsin, Alabama, they have a monopoly on all of vaping in that state, all of vaping in those states can only be provided by big tobacco. The rest of the yellow states are considering it. The gray states, they don't have a PMTA registry bill in process yet, but that's, I mean, this is a very, very yet type of thing. A very, 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 very yet type of thing. These PMTA registry bills are the worst. They are the worst. They're the worst. This is the worst thing that's going to happen in the United States. I have a feeling, I don't know. I'm not trying to speak out of turn or anything, but I found that vapors in general tend to be a hair, how do I say, rebellious. And so I 
think that if someone is a already committed like hobbyist vapor in the state of Louisiana, you don't have much to worry about. The people that have to worry in the state of Louisiana are people who currently smoke tobacco cigarettes. They're having their options severely, severely limited. And it's going to have far reaching implications, you know, throughout the state. Nothing is safe at the moment by, by any stretch of the imagination. For Washington state, it seems that SB uh, 6118 is dead in the water. It hasn't passed out of the ways and means in over a month. That's good. Thank you for that update, Ken. Snowho Vape and Brew up there in Washington state. That's good, that's good news. The bad news is that many of them are still going through. In fact, the worst news that I've heard today, almost, is that Florida, the legislature passed the PMTA registry bill. The legislature has passed the PMTA registry bill, which means the last place that this PMTA registry bill can be stopped is at Governor Ron DeSantis' desk. Ah, I want to believe, I want to believe that he will veto it. He knows about vaping. He knows about tobacco harm reduction. I've seen this man, despite all of his shortcomings, I've seen him on television telling Americans that vaping is harm reduction and that people who smoke cigarettes should vape instead. And that's important to him in his state of Florida in driving down smoking rates. So I'm, I'm inclined to believe that Governor DeSantis will most likely I say that with no confidence, will most likely veto the PMTA registry bill in Florida. But he's not gonna do it if we don't ask him to do it. So if you're in Florida, there's nothing that politicians love more. Let me tell you a, a, a hack to talking to politicians. There's nothing that politicians enjoy more than being praised. They love it. It gets their dicks real hard. They're just like, yeah, lay your compliments on me. Tell me what a great job I've been doing. They love it. They just eat it up. So if you come to DeSantis with that sort of, thank you, Governor DeSantis, you've protected vaping in the past in Florida, and thank you for standing up for vaping in the past. You've done such a great job. You've done such a great job protecting vapors in, in your state. You've done such a good job of driving down smoking rates. You cannot allow this PMTA registry bill to pass. You cannot allow big monopolies of big tobacco to come into your state and control the entire market. I believe he can be, he can, he can veto this. I believe he can veto this if you, you throw some, co compliment him, compliment politicians. They love it. They love compliments. Tell them that they're doing a great job. Tell them, thank you. Tell them all, all sorts of whatever you need to tell them to get him to veto this PMTA registry bill. Get him to veto this re PMTA registry bill. Um, the last thing I think I have for the United States, PMTA registry bill, PMTA registry bill, PMTA registry bills. I'm going to put link in the description to CASA, to Vaping 360, to wherever Vaping 360 and CASA. I'm actually just going to, yeah, those two things. Those will take you to the PMTA registry bills. Please do the call to actions and, and, and please follow up after we do these calls to actions. Call email. You can request meetings with these people. Yeah, yeah, no. Andy Social, I'm here from the government. I'm here to help. Never trust those words. <laughs> Never trust those, those words. Yeah, don't do the dirty work of the federal government. Don't let the, the FDA's flawed, already struck down in court PMTA process decide public health in your state, Governor DeSantis. You cannot do this. You could not do this. The other news that I have coming out of the United States, at least for now, is uh, Wyoming. By a vote of 6 to 56, the Wyoming House just killed SF-107. This, I believe, was their PMTA registry bill. There is not an attempt made to amend the bill to allow this illegal non-tobacco nicotine e-liquids, but ban illegal disposables. That failed by approximately 24 to 37 vote. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, SF-107 in Wyoming. So Wyoming 
just, just narrowly avoided a PMTA registry bill. So these things, these, these bills and this legislation, it can be stopped. It can be defeated, but we have to be ruthless. We have to be relentless. We have to be relentless. Um, I'm, I'm, I have a big, I have some big plans of trying to overturn the California flavor ban. I talked about that a little bit on the, that, that stream with the K fun it's up on YouTube. You can watch it, but we need, I need to do more. I'm not going to say we need to do more because you guys are doing it all. I need to do more. I need to do more and not just sit on YouTube and complain about things because that doesn't really change anything. And I can get on Twitter and yell at politicians, but that ultimately doesn't really change anything. It feels good. feels good to speak your mind, to get the truth out there. But as far as enacting like actual meaningful change, it's not something... It's not something that I feel like I've been doing and it's something that I'm going to keep doing. Uh, and that's, those are my plans for 2024. So that's all I have for the United States right now. I'm going to put some links in the description to the United States for all of our advocacy. But right now, I think I would like to just turn back the clock. Uh, we'll, do some, we'll do some retro vaping. All right. Well, like I said, we're going to try to fit two in tonight. We're going to try to fit two in tonight. And it's going to be a very, like, true, very true retro vaping. In fact, in fact, we're going to get our old friend, old, uh, our old friend 22 gauge, our old friend anarchist 80 nichrome 80 22 gauge remind politicians they're awesome even though they're not and friendly remind them that pmta process is going to the fifth yep yep and do they really want to support something like that seamus i i could not agree with you more i could not agree with you more blow smoke up their ass even when they don't deserve it if you can try to change their mind you know if you can try to change their mind no, not the indestructible on a noisy cricket. We're going on a mech tonight, right there. And what we're gonna be putting on the mech tonight, this is only gonna be cool for like super recoil fanboys, I guess. This is a recoil, but what does it say on the side? This is the prototype recoil. This is the t prototype recoil with an airflow that was never released that I think if we do another run of recoils, we should definitely release this airflow. It was the super restricted airflow. It was like the true flavor bro flavor airflow. You're not gonna believe it when you see how small this airflow is. Okay, so there's a cloud cap for you just as a, just as a comparison. I think that's the cloud cap. This, what? Look at that tiny little recoil. Look at that tiny little recoil airflow. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's got, we, we ended up being much bigger, much bigger, tw oh, twice the size, twice the size. But this is a true, hey now, easy now. This is a true, true, true ass restricted lung recoil. This And this is one of one. This is the only one of these that exists. And it's very a prototype. It's a little bit roughly machined. It's a little bit roughly machined on the inside. There's no logos or anything on it. This was the, uh, this was the deck. This was the deck from the beginning. And the reason that we chose a deck like this was building, right? Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. We're gonna put maybe some two and a half millimeter coils in here. Two, two and a half millimeter coils. And everybody knows that when you're building all of your, yeah, the revival, 
The Revival's treating me real nice, Sortiel. Real nice. I've been a big fan of that. Big. Huge fan. But, you know, when you're building coils, whether it's whatever, aliens, fuse, claptons, round wire, doesn't matter. When you're wrapping coils, one lead inevitably is the up lead and one lead is the down lead. And the way that coil builders who sell their coils compensated for this was they would do the bend, you know? So you'd have two leads going in the same direction to fit all the other RDAs that were on the market at the time because all of them were flat post holes or clamps like the Goon and the TM were all in a straight line. And Dwayne and I were like, why do people do that? Coils come off naturally with one high lead and one low lead. Why not lean into that and make a deck that you don't need to futz with your coils afterwards? You can just like put them straight in because one's high and one's low. And we put the high one on the outside so that it's easier to wick. And we put the low one on the inside so that it's easier to wick. I mean, look, I'm not trying to brag, but I mean, this is the best thing that I think my name has ever been associated with is the recoil, is the recoil. So I've got my coil buildy tool. Oh, don't look at those. Hang on, let me move those. You can't see those yet. Those are for liquids. And we're going to put some 22 gauge, two and a half millimeter. We're probably just going to do like a six wrap. What should I do, Jundi? Six wrap? Six wrap, Paul Cole. I agree. RDAs never die. At least for me, RDAs would, will never die. Could never die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go seven. Who cares? Disregard the constable. Boosh, boosh, perfect. I'm glad that people don't care as much about my wire wasting as they do about my cotton wasting. <laughs> because let me tell you, let's see, you're going to the outside, you're going to the inside, so I can cut you hella short. All right, let's try to put, let's try to throw a coil in here. And by try, I mean succeed because it's so crazy easy. Every time I use the recoil, every time I build on the recoil, it's like, yes, I'm glad. I'm glad we did this. I'm glad we released this. Uh, I don't know that we used flathead screws. That was my bad. I was, I was really in a flathead screw mood at the time when we released this RDA and I insisted on flathead screws and Dwayne fought me. But I thought, oh no, flathead screws, you get so much more torque. Torque, you get so much more torque. Steve-O's gonna be the wire police. <laughs> you really shouldn't waste wire though either. I know, I know. And look, I try not to, I really do. But sometimes it just happens. <laughs> Dicky Mo. Uh, oops, yeah, you're gonna go like this. Sorry, I had this backwards. Yeah, dude. It's too easy. It's almost too easy to, to build on this deck. Like you can see, it just goes right in, right in. The high lead goes to the high outside. The low lead goes to the low inside. It's perfect. And it gives you, I don't know, it feels like I'm trying to sell recoils here, but I'm really not. I'm really trying not to. Uh, Beecher, oh, Beecher's here. Beecher, I don't know what you're, Beecher, what's up? Welcome. Happy to see you here. Just uh, strengthening my pinky, you know? Just doing my daily, uh, Pinky exercises, push-ups, you know? Using the DS? Yep, that'll do it every time. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. Uh, Kazi, uh, ka Kaza, ka Kakashitsu <laughs> over there on Twitch. Get into it. Get back into it. There's no time like the present. It, you forget how good it is. 
Oh, Guillermo. You're never too late, Guillermo. What's up to Argentina? What's up to Argentina? All right. So let me just show off the recoil for a second. And where'd my two and a half millimeter tool go? It's much easier to use than that graduated number. Does require a little bit of pushing. Does require a little bit of pushing. That's I'm not discounting that. That's a negative aspect of the, the recoil, but only because it was released in a time when you always had to push center your coils. It was one of those like necessary evils where like, oh, we love this deck, but you still have to push center your coils. And that's okay. And that's just, that's reality. This is just the, the sign of the times, you know? It was just the sign of the times. Dicky Mo. Dicky Mo. Always keep track of your leads. You know? It's just what I've always said. I've always said that. I've always said keep track of your leads. It's important. So easy. So easy. That's the wrong camera. It's so easy. Look at that coil. Beautiful. Centered. High lead, low lead. Amazing. That's that's freaking perfect. I might pull that a little bit away from the deck, but otherwise, nah, it's got plenty of room. What are you talking about? What are you talking about here? There's plenty of room there. Maybe a little bit more room. All right, let's knock out another coil real quick. Dude, two and a half millimeter round wire, 22 gauge. That's it. That's all I need. I think that's all I ever need, actually. It was my favorite to build. It was my favorite to vape. It was one of the few round wire builds that would give me crackle, you know? One, two, three, four, five, a six. There's the seventh wrap. Seven song of a seven song. Seven song of a seven song. Seventh wrap. Beautiful Clark. And away we go. I think I can get this in here okay. Even though the low is going to have to go through the middle, so I'm going to have to pre-cut my lead. That's okay. So we go from that corner to the center. Oh, oh no. What? Am I new here? We're going to go from that corner to the center. And then once I get it in, I give it. I'm going to try to do this on the, on the uppy closey camera, on the actual uppy closey camera. I would probably give it, it, nothing's screwed down right now. I'm just going to give it a little push like that. It's a little push. It just, it bends the wire but it kind of centers it much better in front of your, uh, in front of the airflow. It's not ideal. It requires a little wire bending. But if you're a wire bender, then you know what to do. It'd be second nature to you. Sick. Dude, re recoil prototype with round wire? This is the most retro vape that's ever been a retro vape. Boom. Round wire, round wire, round wire, round wire. Busting. That is freaking perfect. Let's see what we came out to. 0.12. And that'll go up. I'm going to save these two wire pieces. Mostly because I don't want Steve to be mad at me. I don't, I don't want Steve mad at me. I can handle Tribal Buddha. I can handle, you know, Jake Scrapwood, but I don't want Steve mad at me. So we're saving the wire. We're saving the wire. Point one, two. Let's see. This should glow crazy fast. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. 
Round wires heating up. It's it's hypnotic. Let's see how close we can get. Is that too close? Hypnotic. I could watch this all day long. I could watch this all day long. That's the greatest thing. And you know these are going to vape awesome. <laughs> Time to, let's see. Oh, we use two and a half millimeter coils. So we're gonna go BP mods cotton instead of cotton biking. Okay, I'm gonna not waste any cotton. So let's see, that's one coil, that's two coils. This is all I'm gonna use for both coils. Might have been a little bit short. That's okay. <laughs> Trying to overcorrect. <laughs> Just trying to overcorrect, use as, as minimal cotton as possible. See, this is why I can't do the, the speed building. This is why Sean Typhon and Frames Janklin would beat me every week. Okay. Got one in. Okay. Got one in. You know, back in the day, and I know I've said this a bunch, but back in the day before Aliens, before Fuse Clapton's, before Frame Staples, before any of that, I was just straight up round wire. 22 gauge Anarchist was like my jam. I loved it. Okay, look at that. This is all the cotton we wasted. Whoops. Look at this. That's it. Whoop. That's it. Not much. That's a little bit of cotton. Come on. That's a little bit of cotton, Phil. Uh, Lil Rambo. Fuck yeah, Lil Rambo. Happy to see your face. Thank you for lurking. Thank you for chatting. It's a recoil, so it's like, psh, just push it in. There's nothing to do it. Nothing to it. Nothing doing. This side, even easier. Boop, push it in. Nothing doing. Perfect. You couldn't even see that. This is the most old school build of all old school builds. Yep, hashtag save the cotton. I don't know why I have to say that in an Aussie accent. I think it's because of Slater and Breeze Tones. I'm blaming them. Save the cotton. Because they don't say cotton because they're Australian. They say cotton with D's in it. Cotton, C-O-D-D-O-N. And uh, it cracks me up and I like to say it like them. Cotton, we're wicked. Holy crap, the recoil. Look at even that. I got wires, leads just sticking out. You think I should trim those closer? You think I should trim those closer? Nah. All right, maybe. Yeah, okay. Now. Now. The liquid. Oh, the liquid. I don't know what I'm going to put on here. Hopefully something banging. Just do a little, good, a little bit of good housekeeping here. Now the liquid, that's what will make or break a setup. In my opinion, the liquid obviously will make or break a setup. If you choose something you don't love, exactly, Phil, exactly, Sexy King. Cotton, save the cotton, cotton, C-O-D-D-O-N. You want to you want a wrench? You think you just come in here and ask for a wrench? You and wrenches are a, a a delicate process of nominations and voting and I'm just kidding. I arbitrarily give wrenches out, but no, you can't have one. <laughs> Didn't mean to be so direct. Didn't mean to be so direct. It took earn. I'm going to say it took earn like a year to earn his wrench after asking every week, every week, and then people vouching for him and being like, Ern, I think would actually make a really good moderator. You know, you recently bought a, st a Steam Deck, so, <laughs> so you're gonna have to sell some recoils. No, don't sell the recoils. Don't sell the recoils. 
Um, you know, there's a few things I just keep coming back to, you know. Uh, one of them, here, let's, I've been wanting some uncommon. See, this is what I had a should, should have set up for the, uh, for the, for the liquid tasting, the, the tobacco, the RY4, the RY4 uncommon. Tobacco, cotillion cream, hazelnut, dulce de leche. Yep. That sounds like what I want to vape right now. Or do I need to pick like a retro liquid as well? I should get a battery in here. Boop, boop, boop. Blaying your liquid on the recoil was a, just a thing of beauty. It was just a joyful occasion. You could bleh all over this thing. And it was amazing. Casey, my wife, Casey, only vapes a recoil, only vapes a recoil. She's only used a recoil like her entire life. And she's only, yeah, she's only ever vaped a recoil and she pops and paints. She pops and paints her recoil. It's like, do we need to go to a marriage counselor or like she pops and paints her recoil, her recoil, the RDA that was made to bleh, made to bleh. I do love me some Omboy Tropical. If I had to pick my favorite Omboy liquid, I'm probably gonna go with the strawberry. Uh, strawberry. He's got the blueberry and the strawberry. I have a bottle of it in here somewhere. Yeah, blueberry, blueberry custard, strawberry custard. But I'm a strawberry, you know, extremist. <laughs> I'm a strawberry extremist. So I I love all things strawberry. We can put a sick 21700 in here. Hashtag dirty battery wraps. Just kidding. It's red camo. Not every battery wrap that I have has boobs on it. Calm down. It's only like five. Ready? Hey, it's not firing. That's a great sign. So the first thing you want to do, take that battery out. <laughs> Figure out what's going on here. Let's do some troubleshooting. Is this weird that that didn't fire for some reason? Okay, okay. It's not the strongest. It's not the strongest. But we'll see how it hits. Okay, that airflow, I can't even, this air, this recoil airflow is so tiny. It's too tiny. It is too tiny. Not too tiny. It's perfect. It's like a perfect, it's a perfect little restricted lung. The recoil has never been a restricted lung RDA. When we were releasing it, I was, I don't know, I wasn't necessarily against the idea of like a flavor bro, bro flavor cap, but I kind of didn't see the point. I was very narrow minded, like everybody's cloud chasing, just everybody's cloud chasing, everybody cloud chase, big airflow. You don't need to adjust it, just big airflow. Obviously, people wanted adjustable airflow, and that's why the Recoil Rebel exists. But I was dead set on just one airflow, one unadjustable airflow. If you don't like it, then you're not going to like it. And if you do, then you, you'll you love it into the ground, you know? You'll love it into the ground. But let's try this really restricted lung. Really restricted lung. It's actually pleasant. It's uh, smooth. I still... I'm biased. I'm not going to admit that I, you know, I'm not going to I'm going to admit that I'm biased. I'm biased. Of course I'm biased. It's my RDA. I love it. This is the smoothest airflow. I think Snakebite airflow beats Honeycomb airflow. Anybody want to fight? Huh? Huh? Honeycomb airflow? <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. I mean, look, the flavor's busting. I just wish this can't go on a mech. Maybe the battery's dead. Maybe that battery needs to be charged. Because that should be hitting way better. Way, way better. Like, 
Raven. Let's see if this battery. Oh no, that's a 2700. Dude, I think all my batteries. Are all my 2700s spoken for at the moment? That's crazy. I think the snake bite airflow is the smoothest airflow. And what a difference a charged battery makes. Huge difference. Crazy smooth, crazy restricted. I'm not used to this. I think, I think, I think the snake bite's smoother than, than honeycomb. I think snake bite's smoother than honeycomb. Look, recoil, snake bite. Recoil rebel, snake bite. RDA for vaping, snake bite. RDA for vaping V2, snake bite. That's all smooth as shit. Is the recoil smoother than like the Valhalla or like the Asgard Mini or something like that? Maybe we need to have like a, an airflow off at some point. It feels very, very slightly underpowered, Jeremy V. Very, 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 very. I mean, it's actually hitting pretty okay. It just feels very, very slightly underpowered. And I just want to say, if you've ever had a recoil, you know that the O-rings on the bottom aren't always phenomenal. These are phenomenal O-rings. Prototype O-rings, baby. This is my new favorite recoil, I think. This is my new favorite vape in the battery. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Well, I love this. I saw that earlier, Slater, when you said we need a re-recoil. I'm, I'm, I want to try, I'm trying to think of my 15 minute elevator pitch for Omboy OC because I can't do it without him. And I would, I wouldn't, I, to, to be clear, I wouldn't do it without Omboy OC. We both need to be on board for a re-re-recoil. We could call it the re-recoil. That's actually a better name. That's a better name than I had picked out. I was going to go down like the technology route and say something like Recoil Prime, you know, or the Recoil X or the Recoil C or the Recoil FS, you know, just some letters. Recoil LTE, the Recoil Max, the Recoil Plus, but the Re-Recoil, that's good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that down real quick. Re-recoil. The re-recoil. You want a contest? <clears throat> Tough. I'm just kidding. There'll be a contest. Hang on. Hold your pants. Ah, I can't get enough of this. It's the re-recoil. And, and I want to release it with the flavor cap and the cloud cap and the restricted cap. That would be the king. Yeah, make it 810. No, we're going to make it. See, here's my vision was to make it everything. Have the recoil deck and you get three barrels. You get the restricted lung, you get the flavor bro, and you get the clouds bro. And you get two different top caps. One is the traditional macaroon drip tip and one is an 810. And then I think that would be like the pristine, prime, amazing recoil. Yeah. Holy shit. The recoil AF. The recoil AF. The recoil redo. Here, the recoil re-F. AF. I like that. The recoil redo. The redo. I like that. I like that all. Oh, I like that all. <coughs> I kind of can't believe how much I like that really restricted airflow. I want to see on the inside now. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that drip tip's gone forever. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it needs to be set down lower. It needs to just be set down lower. That airflow needs to be set down lower. It's, it's hovering just a little bit above the coils if you look down at it from the top. I 
All right, all right, recoil prototype. Not a bad little retro vape that might actually someday see the light of day. Might. I'll give you a firm maybe on that ever actually seeing the light of day. <laughs> it all depends on Omboy OC. It all depends on Omboy OC and, you know, the cost of, of doing it. I've coughed before. You know, I've coughed a little bit there, gift. It doesn't happen very often. Only when I vape at extraordinarily high wattages, it seems. Like 100 watts will just take me down to the ground. I just, uh, 100 watts. Ah. Old soft throat, old weak pinky. Yep. The recall, the recoil recall. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Yeah, Matt, uh, it definitely, the airflow here, I'll show you. The airflow does need to be set down lower. This is why this was a prototype, but you can see yeah, they're high. It's high. Like when you look down in it, you're looking down at your coil and really you should be looking directly at your coil. So these could come down like two or three millimeters and they would be so sick. So sick. I think the flavor would be better. I think everything would be better. They're just, it's just a little too high. Total recoil. Okay, well, now we're cooking with grease. The dia recoil, the diarrhea coil. Uh, microwave oven. Nah, man. <laughs> the dia recoil. No, nah, man. That's funny. It's a little like garbage pail kids. I get that. The recoil rehash. No, we can't call it that. Then we're like, then we're taking a dig at ourselves. <laughs> the recoil rehash. Just rehashing that old shit again. Let's, uh, listen, let's, uh, let's do some super chats. And then, and then I have to talk about the UK real quick. Total recoil is kind of dope. Total recoil, re-recoil, and wait, what was the third one? The recoil boosh. <laughs> The recoil boosh. Wait, no, wasn't it Zach who had one? Yeah, the recall. The recall. That's cool. It's kind of recoil, recoil, recoil classic. Uh, a big part of me wanted to call it the recoil prime because it's literally everything. It's more airflow. It's an 810 cap. It's everything you, that you want in a recoil. And I was going to call it the recoil prime. The recoil uplifted. The recoil swamp donkey. The recoil BTS. There it is. There it is. That's what we're naming it. The recoil cash grab. Yep. The recoil cash grab. We just we released so many recoils. It's clearly just a cash grab. We released <laughs> we released the last recoil in uh, 2017, the beginning of 2017. So six years ago. Five years ago, something like that. There it is. Spaceballs, the RDA. Oh, 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 Ronnie. The recoil complete. The recoil complete. The recoil prom sponsored by Logan Paul. <laughs> I think this is my favorite too, Seamus. Recoil AF. That's sick. That's sick. I'm going to add that into my elevator pitch meeting for Dwayne. I'm going to add that in. All right, I'm going to be like, all right, hear me out. A new recoil. But it's going to be an OG recoil. You know, I'll give him the whole, the whole, the bride of the recoil. Whoa, that's actually kind of cool too. But the, re <laughs> the recoil BTS. Recoil AF I think is my favorite. The recoil AF is rad. That's a rad name. The Timu recoil. The Timu recoil is just a deck. You just get a deck and you can't order one of them. You have to order 50 of them and they come just wrapped in like aluminum foil. Because Timu. Yeah, we did do a blank recoil. We did blanks, unholies, grim green Omboy logos all over it. We did some Ashton Palmer's like special edition recoils as well that were real sick. <gasps> Okay, that's actually pretty cool too. That's kind of actually pretty cool too. Recoil Reborn. 
the recoil reborn, not all recoiled. Okay. Let's put a pin in this for now. We'll circle back around. <laughs> Just going to use some corporate speak for you here. Let's put a pin in this. Let's circle back around. Let's do, uh, uh, super chats. That's right. Re <laughs> the recoil dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody would buy they, nobody would buy it. Re coil? R E coil? The freak oil? The freak oil. I like where we're going here. That's basically Boosh Goo. We're gonna call Boosh Goo the freak oil. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you guys. <laughs> the, the, a lot of good things. Recoil AF, I think, is still winning the uh winning the game here. Frank Neal, that's very gracious of you. Yo, yo, Nick, I just wanted to say hello. Love you, cool kids. Hey, Frank, love you, bro. Kennedy, shout out to Victory Vapes in York, PA. Awesome shop. Two beautiful ladies run it. Hooked me up. Hook, anybody that hooks up Kennedy is, is a friend of Grim Green. Hell yeah, Victory Vapors in York, Pennsylvania. Hooking up Kennedy like that. Foul Q-Tube. Watching you at my brother's house whilst I babysit my nef dog. He's not a fan of vaping, but thankfully he doesn't smoke either. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Are you talking about your brother not smoking or your brother's dog, your nef dog not smoking? Uh, both of those are a win, just so we're clear. But I hope it's uh, you're talking about your brother and not your, uh, your nef dog. Bearded Vape God. I know the people who created Fluid. They're decent people. Oh, nice. Rad. I like getting uh, liquids from cool companies. I, 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 I fell for fluid kind of hook, line, and sinker. Their branding is rad. Someone was pointing out that the, 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 the logos like embossed on the bottles just feels really, really nice. And the, like, I don't know, the branding is so sick. The color gradient is so sick. And, and it's unique on every bottle. It's just sick. It's just sick. I like it. I like that. Hope you're, hey, hope you're doing good, Bearded Vape God. QHB. Hi, it's my only granddaughter's birthday this Saturday. Can you and all the cool kids wish her a happy eighth birthday? Yes. Would you like it to be sung? As QHB's granddaughter? Absolutely happy birthday, QHB's granddaughter. We're going to sing in like 14 seconds. Raw Chuck. YouTube keeps defaulting to chat. Why? It's so unfair to the bottoms who might be chatting. What is it? What is it happening? Oh, it's defaulting to top chat. Can I change that? Live chat. Yeah, live chat. There we go. There's the live chat. I don't know why it was just on top chat. Have, has that been my fault this whole time? Mateo, what's up? I just saw your chat pop in. What do you think about the Vapor SO Eco Nano? I just bought it. It's a huge bummer for me that the LED is only lighting up white. When do I know that I'm running out of battery? Uh, great question. I'm not sure if I can remember right off the top of my head, but the Eco Nano Mateo in the past has treated me very, very nicely. Very, very nicely. Uh, I, I believe my Eco Nano went well over like close to 9,000 puffs before I started like hate vaping it. But I'm a fan, Eco Nano. Okay, we're back to the live chat. Okay, thank you, Raw Chuck, for pointing that out. It was supposed to say defaulting to chop top chat. I might be willing to pay prepay for a recoil flavor cap or a kit. I have plenty of bases too. Okay, so that's what I was thinking as well, Raw Chuck. What if there's the recoil AF, but then there's also like, you know, the recoil A that's deckless. It's just the caps. It's just the caps for people who have the base or have multiple bases, Raw Chuck. I think we're onto something. I think we're onto something. Didi, damn it. Hang on. Lurker Stomp has a birthday tomorrow. Lucker Stomp? Was that it? YouTube default is top chat for everyone. No, nope. I'm changing to the live chat. I'm changing the game. Who cares? I need I want to see everybody's chats. I want to miss everybody's chats. That's what I, that's what I meant to say. I want to miss everybody's chat. 
I want to miss it all. Uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Didi, now Didi. Just popping in to say hi. I have to catch the replay later. All right, Didi. Hey, Didi, love you. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy the replay. And then Barbara Burgess, the cousin, sent me a hella chat, which we're going to check in. What's up, Butter Squad? I see you, Butter Squad. You can't hide from me. Let's get over here to the hella chats, shall we? It's got it's to load just real quickly. Miss Bagpipes, would you look at that? Miss Bagpipes, check your text before the vlog ends. You promised to help with a fundraiser for band boosters that I'm doing for a charity. Nathan's daughter also shout out to Potu High School Concert Band for earning excellent ratings at the district contest. Hell yeah, let's do it. Where's the... Where's the fundraiser, Barbara? Where did I where did it go? Can you tweet it at me real quick? Can you tweet me the link at me real quick and I'll and I'll put it in the chat and we'll, and we'll put it on the vlog. Try to raise some money for some uh high school concert band, you know. I, I being a, a trumpet player was heavily involved with my high school concert band. I played high school pep band, I played high school uh, marching band, but not marching, but we just sat and played. It was pep band, you know, concert band, pep band. I'm for it, I support it. All the, all the arts, all the musical arts. I support them. Send me that link, Barbara, send me that link. Send me that link. Um. I guess we're gonna do. Uh, let's do the. Uh, let's do the UK news. We're gonna. Let's jump into the UK news now. What do we got? Six ten. That sounds great. Let's jump uh, real quickly into some UK news. This is. I. I, I don't want to say it. Nothing good. All right. What's up? Nothing good. Nothing good's happening in the UK, you guys. <laughs> I wish I could say that the UK was still like the stronghold of vaping but it's not it's it's not there's a lot of things going on and one of the things going on that's been i actually don't know that there's any way to stop this um there there i don't know i'm not super familiar with the regulatory frameworks and sort of government bureaucracy of the United Kingdom. They have a petition going for the for the for the flavor ban that's being proposed in the UK. They have a petition going for that. I don't know if the if the difference in petitions working, you know, in the US versus the UK if the UK petitions are more effective or not, but I'm hoping that there's a petition for the tax as well. The UK is getting, I mean, decimated decimated the uk vape space is getting effing decimated there's a flavor ban literally on the way it's been proposed there's a petition against the uk flavor ban i'll put a link to that in the description there's also a tax coming this was posted to me on twitter by uh i can't remember the gentleman's name who post who tweeted this at me because i'm a I'm a forgetful person, but I retweeted it. Who was it? I gotta give proper credit. Big Yin. Shout out to Big Yin. Uh, Big Yin, I think he's in Scotland. He says, Grim Green, the UK is about to feel the force of this Tory government. What used to be a cheaper and affordable away from smoking is now looking like a lot more expensive. Yeah. What October 2026 means. The average price of a 100 mil short fill online is 14 pounds plus $1 per nick shot to nick up to three milligram. Total cost today, $16. Now, let's add the proposed tax. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying the words vape tax in the UK. Vape tax in the UK. 100 mil short fill that was $14 is now $24. Two times one pound nick shots was two dollars or two pounds. Now it's eight pounds. Total cost on October 2026, 32 British pounds. 16 British pounds to 32 British pounds. Just for reasons? For lost revenue? 10 mil, 
TPR compliant liquids would double in price. Short fills will be priced out of the market, pushing people to long fills, but vapors will still be stung by the nicotine tax with long fills. Support the consultation. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. I've been trying to track down any consultation, paperwork, petition, website, something, anything to stop this because this is bananas. And the most heartbreaking part of all of this, hang on, the most heartbreaking part of all of this is, you know, that organization in the UK that we love to support, they're also known as Cancer Research UK. Cancer Research UK is very, very pro-vaping. Very, very, very pro-harm reduction. They bust myths about vaping. They bust myths about nicotine and popcorn lung, and they encourage vaping. Well, I guess there can't ever be just a benevolent organization. They always have to be a little bit shysty. And Cancer Research UK is in favor of this vape tax so that they can get funding. So that they can get funding. Whoop. I guess if everybody quits smoking, cancer rates are going to drop. Cancer Research UK still needs funding despite that. So they're going to support taxing vapor products in the UK. Well, yeah, we'll, we love this $3 million in additional funding announced today. This is going to be great for us. We get $3 million. Cancer Research UK just looking out for themselves purely, it seems, at the cost of people who smoke cigarettes. That's, I mean, I don't know. I can't even think of a word. Insane doesn't even begin to explain Cancer Research UK supporting a vape tax. And the weird, weird justification for this vape tax that they're using is, A, we're out of money. We're, we're low on money. We need taxes. Hi, the government just needs taxes and they're going to tax vaping. But they're not... They're being really shady about it. They're saying, well, no, no, we're not, you know, it's not a punishment for people who vape, even though it is. And it's not a punishment for people who smoke, even though it is. They're justifying this by saying, well, we're raising the price. We're raising the taxes on cigarettes, too. So vaping will still be cheaper comparatively. But both of them are being raised. Both of them are being raised. Cigarette taxes are going way up and vape taxes are going way up, but vape taxes will still be lower. So technically they can say, well, we're still incentivizing people to switch, but if you vape right now, fuck you. And if you smoke right now, fuck you. But Cancer Research UK, hey, $7 million, woo! Just off the backs of vapors and dying smokers. That's fine, Cancer Research UK, that's fine. So in the UK, there's a flavor ban coming, there's an exorbitant tax coming, and, and, but wait, oh, there's so much more in the UK. Did you see this MP that got a community note? This is a, this is a British MP right here, Jim Shannon, UK government MP. Friday, for March 1st marks no smoking month. Make March your month to quit. It's important that people are aware of the risks associated with vaping. The nicotine content of many disposable vapes is equivalent to 20 cigarettes. If you don't smoke, don't vape. Hashtag no smoking month. Community noted right away by the, his own government. <laughs> oh my God, that's so fucking funny to me. British MP towing the prohibitionist line lying about vaping on Twitter, then getting community noted with data from the government that he works for. It's only, I know, Andy Social, I hate that. I hate it. You know, I was naive for a really long time thinking people cared about public health. I was really naive for a really long time thinking people cared about people quitting smoking. No, none of that matters. Literally, like we're just nothings. We're just pawn nothing people who can go fucking die. Doesn't matter. 
does not matter. We matter literally zero. <laughs> we matter literally zero unless we're providing the government with tax dollars. That's when we become really critically important. They do not care. They don't care if we live. They don't care if we die. They don't care about public health. Cancer Research UK just really needs that $7 million. So of course they're going to support this unnecessary tax on all vaping products. But wait, <laughs> there's even more awful news in the UK because the UK is going to crack down on all social media, all social media. They make it sound like vape advertising is all they're really going after. But no, they are going after anything on social media that has to do with vaping and they get really granular with it. Uh, we're not going to read this whole thing, but it says vaping ads across social media platforms need to stop and advertising ple advertisers pleading ignorance is not an excuse anymore. Regulators have warned. They say it's illegal for re retailers to sell disposable vapes to under 18 and devices cannot be displayed across almost all media targeted at children. Therefore, brands, retailers, etc., cannot provide, cannot promote them in paid for or non paid for posts on non private accounts. Anything on TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram. They don't seem to mention YouTube in any capacity, but they do call out TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So all I can think about is Sam. It's breaking my heart, but all I can think about is Sam, the vape and bogan. This is not good. This is, there's an easy way around this. If you're, if you're an influencer in the UK, there's an easy way around this, but it sucks. It's essentially like getting demonetized from YouTube. When you get demonetized from YouTube, they don't promote your videos to non-viewers. They barely promote your videos to your viewers, but they definitely don't promote your videos to non-viewers. And the really like nuts and bolts of this is, hang on, hang on. I have a better example. I need to give a shout out to uh, Chris Geek. Chris Geek in the UK. Chris Geek sent me this. Um, I just wanted to show this screenshot from, from Instagram. His name's Chris, Chris Greek. Sorry, Chris Greek. I didn't mean to call you a geek. <laughs> didn't mean to call you, call you a geek there, Chris Greek. Uh, Chris Greek, uh, I don't know. Our pause paths have crossed a couple of times on social media, Instagram and things like that. I don't know. I just, just, he's just someone I don't really know, but I DM with him just every once in a while. He sent me over these screenshots of an enforcement notice sent out by the United Kingdom to basically literally everybody. And they're talking about things like exactly what we're talking about. Enforcement notice. Uh, so what social media is prohibited? If it's paid for or not paid for, and it doesn't matter. If it's paid for, it's illegal. If it's unpaid, still illegal. So if Bogan is living in the UK and he gets on Instagram and he says, I like this Boro, illegal, illegal. He will have to make his profile private and then he can say whatever he wants. If your profile is public, you can only say factual things. So something like this Boro is 3D printed. That is a factual statement. This drip tip is stainless steel. That is a factual statement. You can't say this stainless steel drip tip, I really like it. Because then you're crossing the line into possible promoting of these products. And they are really specific about content is shared to users who have not specifically sought it out. So that means, yeah. Everybody on social media in the UK has to switch their profiles to private because if your content gets caught in the algorithm and served to someone who didn't seek it out, that's illegal. That's illegal in the UK. Illegal. 
crazy. And they get very, very specific about it. For the avoidance of doubt, prohibited ads include posts on e-cigarette advertisers, social media accounts, including any photos, images, texts, and videos on the platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, TikTok, where the accounts are administered such that their content is able to be algorithmically shared to other users on the platform. Meaning you have to be private. You can't share anything. Uh, I, you know, so if I see a, a Bogan post and I share it in my story and I was in the UK, that's illegal. If Bogan shares my post in his story, I think that's also illegal for Sam to do. I don't think he can do that either. I think, I don't, I don't think he can do that either. According to this, they're really concerned. Re, wait, where's the other one? Hang on. You know, hang on. You don't want to see all my folders. Um, where's the other picture? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Nope. There it is. For example, social media accounts, which are administered as private, such that they demonstrably do not share their content to users who have not actively and specifically sought it out may be considered anagalic and an analogous 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 to advertisers own websites and therefore able to contain factual claims about e-cigarette products this means the context of such social media accounts must only be able to be found by users that actively seek it for example online users should not be alerted to such accounts because another user has liked the account do you see how specific they're getting on this no mention on X, no mention on X, no mention on YouTube. They say Twitter, but that's outdated information. It's not called Twitter anymore, right? It's not called Twitter. They say Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. They didn't mention Twitter. They didn't mention X. They didn't mention YouTube. Claims that are considered factual, right? Product names and descriptions of components as long as they're not promotional. Who, who decides? Who decides what's promotional? This is the scariest part. This is the scariest part. They're going to essentially just release and manage AI bots to seek out vape content from UK citizens on the internet and, you know, ding them, fine them, whatever, punish them for saying anything other than a factual statement, giving any sort of advice or opinions, illegal, sharing something outside of your private account, illegal, someone seeing something on your account that they didn't seek out. Like if Instagram just goes, here's a Bogan video, illegal. I'm sorry, UK. I am sorry. I. I this is insane. I mean, insane doesn't even, insane is not even a strong enough word to describe what's going on in the UK right now. It's like they just did a complete 180, a complete and 100% 180. Uh, it's, it's mind boggling, honestly, is, is what it is. It's mind boggling. Sorry, I was, I was back here in the chat. Uh, I was back there in the chat. So that's terrifying. And I hate everything about it. I hate the flavor ban coming to the UK. I hate the tax coming to the UK. I hate the illegal posting that now is, is, is coming to the UK. I don't even know what to think. Feels like the end times. Honestly, it feels like the end of the world. Very dystopian, very dystopian. And, and they're really concerned, like releasing all these AI bots onto social media to look for citizens in the UK posting about vaping. That's scary enough. That's scary enough as it is, but imagine that you're, you're an account and you're not private and you post a reel and you said, I really like this pot. It helped me quit smoking cigarettes. And then someone comments on it and goes, oh, what do you like about that pod? I want to quit smoking cigarettes. And then you say, well, I really like the flavor and I, and I think the battery life is really, really good. All that interaction is illegal. All of that interaction is illegal unless that person requests to follow you, then you approve it. And then they're in your little private sphere, then sphere, then you can talk all you want. But in public on Instagram, sorry, sorry, 
They already, this isn't even like an up for debate type of thing. This is a notice of enforcement. That's it. This is, we've already decided all of this is going to be illegal. We're just, this is a courtesy call. This is a courtesy call to tell you that we're releasing AI bots onto social media to look for UK citizens posting about vape stuff on social media and make sure that none of it can be construed as promotion or advertising because that's illegal. Can't tell people who smoke about vaping, that's illegal. Okay, UK, okay. That's more severe than anything we have in the US by a mile, by a mile. God bless the First Amendment. God bless the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. Even though, even though uh, FDA has told some manufacturers and some shops that you know they are getting their speech restricted by the federal government. So, you know, that's a thing. That's a whole other separate argument for my American people. But God bless the Constitution. God bless the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. The government can't stop you from talking trash about the government. I love it. And so now we have AI bots chasing us down all over social media. Spectacular. So I think that's going to wrap up what's going on in the UK. I'll put some links down in the description to most everything that I talked about. Uh, including an article about the advertising on social media that does not go into any great detail. I only have screenshots of those notice, you know, notice of enforcement. I only have screenshots from from Chris Greek on Instagram. I don't have the real one. I can, I'm going to try to track it down, maybe put it in the description if, if, uh, if I can find it, but gadam, gadam UK, ga damn i'm i'm just shocked i'm i'm just i'm just shocked and we're not going to talk about it tonight but the only country really that we have left that is a champion for tobacco harm reduction is sweden and that might even be short lived because the swedish government oh flavors we don't know if we like those flavors we're about to become a smoke-free country. <laughs> We're about to become a smoke-free country, but we don't know if we like those flavors. Sweden. Sweden. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, they definitely can restrict what you say, and so can websites. Well, websites can. Websites can. The federal government cannot. The federal government can't. I mean, they could arrest me. I mean, I'm sure if I got on YouTube and started making, you know, like threats and like that, that I was going to harm or, or injure somebody or like violence. Sure. I'm sure the government could step in, but I don't think that the government can control what I say on Twitter. They don't get to do that. They just can't. Elon gets to control what I say on Twitter. And he's a psychopath. If you're a YouTuber, use a VPN set in the UK. Are you going to get dinged? I don't know, Mallory Gates. I don't know. I don't know if this has been really well thought out. I don't know if they've done like test runs with these AI bots to see if they're really, really reliable. If they're really, really, you know, it seems like they're really going to try to enforce this, which is shocking to me, which is just really very shocking to me. That they're like, every UK citizen, if you're on social media, you can't, you know, come on, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic here. Let's be realistic here. So if your free speech imposes on other free, yeah, yeah, Chef Seamus, yeah, of course, absolutely. Listen, you're talking to a libertarian here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, you, your your freedom ends where my freedom begins. That's that's how it works. Your freedom doesn't get to encroach on mine. Your free speech doesn't get to encroach on my free speech. Your free speech ends where my free speech begins. Uh, anyway, Grim, is this part of the opt UK's opt out policy for ads? We are opt out in the U.S. Their laws are different for emails ads. That's a really good question for somebody who might be a little bit more qualified than me to answer that because I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I don't know. I actually didn't know that there was an opt-out policy in the UK for ads. I was unaware of any such goings-on in the such as. 
Yeah, uh, uh, it's 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 real. I mean, uh, it's a real screenshot. It's a real thing. I have a, a a link here. I'll put it in the description of the video, or I'll put it in the chat right now as well. Uh, from Sky News in the UK, talking about this exact thing. The Committee of Advertising Practice said it has sent out enforcement notices to vape manufacturers, retailers, etc., with clear rules and understanding that ignorance was not an excuse adding it would not hesitate to apply sanctions against those unwilling or unable to comply. So it's pretty serious. It's pretty serious. Uh, hoping we can get Sam the Vaping Bogan to uh, the United States of America maybe after this. Huh, Sam, what do you think? You want to come to America? We got some pretty cool stuff here, you know. <laughs> we got some pretty cool stuff. Beer's gone. Unbelievable. Let's move on from that news. I'll put uh, links to literally everything I talked about in the description of this video. And now it looks like, what? Is that birthdays and another retro vape? Okay, let's check in on the Super Chats. The UK is making me too sad. The UK is making me too sad, you guys. Way, way too sad. UK was like the the, the glowing beacon of harm reduction in, in in Europe. Like they, it was it was it was it was a revolution. It was a revolution. And what kills me is I didn't predict this. I don't want anybody to think that I predicted this, but I did see this coming and I tried to warn multiple people many, many, many times. There was a few vlogs that was like, hey, heads up UK, things are getting weird. Hey, hey UK, be on alert, things are getting weird. Danielle Jones and I did two different TBNs based on this exact thing. There was one that we did that had the British flag with Mike Bloomberg's face on it. And it said, hey, UK, be ready. Something bad could be coming to the UK. And this was back in 2020. And, and, I, and I, I'm trying in my brain to go back to where I think this all started. And I think it all started with Bloomberg Philanthropies and Ash. Ash is a company, company, they're an advocacy org. In, in the UK, and they used to be very, very pro-vaping, very, very harm reduction. Action on smoking and health. Very pro-harm reduction, very pro-vaping. In 2020, Danielle Jones and I reported that Ash was cozying up to Bloomberg Philanthropies and was about to receive a big influx of Bloomberg Philanthropies cash. And then, over the course of the next few years, Ash slowly pivoted away from vaping and harm reduction and started supporting things like Disposable bans, flavor bans, taxes. Yeah, Bloomberg got his gross, disgusting, Muppet mouth, slimy tentacles into the UK. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. I did not want to think the worst in 2020. I saw this starting to happen in 2020. I started seeing it on Twitter on 2021. And I thought, uh oh, something's happening. Ash and Bloomberg are, are changing the narrative. Uh, and I thought it's just a matter of time before we start hearing about youth vaping. We started hearing about youth vaping. We started hearing about flavors. And then, oh, would you look at that? A proposed flavor ban. Oh, would you look at that? A proposed taxes. Not even proposed taxes. Just this is what we're fucking planning on doing. Taxes. Anyway, I'll stop talking about the UK. I'll stop talking about the UK. But damn it, that upsets me that I, like I saw this coming. Kills me. Kills me. Nevins, oh, sorry, I accidentally punched my camera. Nevins, smell slash sniff fluid mamma jamma. If that's not good enough to entice you, I'll eat my hat. Strawberry heaven. Also, thanks for all the fluid love. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm generous. Like if something comes across my desk and really like sweeps me off my feet, dude, I'll be a fan for life. Fan for life. Mamma jamma, you say? Okay, I'm not making any promises. But I'll go smell it. I'll go smell it. Let me try to find it first. Okay, okay. I got it. I'll smell it. I'll smell it. I'll give it a smell. I'll give it a, a, a knuckle. 
Virginia's about to get hit really hard. Rhode Island's about to get hit really hard. Uh, Florida's about to have a PMTA fucking registry bill unless Ron DeSantis vetoes it. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. That that tastes uh, pretty, pretty good there, Nevins. Pretty good. That is a uh, jam. Yeah. That's a very jammy. That is a very jam. That's more jammy. There's, it's not seedy though. It's just it's just goo. You know, it's just goo. We'll see. Well, maybe we'll get there, Nevins. Appreciate you. Appreciate fluid. Fishy, just lurking. Hope all are awesome. Nine thousand. Boom, boom, boom. Hell yeah, fishy. Lurk away, home skillet. Appreciate you, fishy. Barbara Burgess. Speaking of X, I sent you the links for the fundraiser. Hey now. Let's go over there on Twitter X. I can, I appreciate that when I go to X, it still says twitter.com. <laughs> still says twitter.com. Uh, okay, here we go, Barbara Burgess. Pick a date and donate the amount, i.e. pick the 22nd, donate 22 bucks. Oh, okay. So if I pick the third, I can donate $3, maybe. I'm going to post a link in the description to right here and in the chat right now. That's my cousin. That's my cousin Barbara on Twitter. And she's raising money for a senior 2025 band trip. You know, the only senior band trips that we got to go on were to Magic Mountain. And honestly, we had a great time. I have nothing to complain about. It was an unbelievable time. So uh, if you feel like helping some uh, seniors, some senior band nerds, which I say that with all of the love because I am and was and continue to be a, a band nerd. There's just, there's just no way around it. I, I, I like being in concert band. I loved it. Uh, the only time I was ever embarrassed in concert band, now that I think about it, was when I was a senior and I was a trumpet player. And somehow I auditioned to get a solo of Amazing Grace at the beginning of one of our big concerts botched it, botched it hard, botched it hard, you know? Uh, and I'll never forget that. <laughs> I'll never forget that in front of a bunch of people and all of my bandmates in concert band. And I botched the, uh, I botched the beginning of amazing grace. The Lord may never forgive me. Well, what are you going to do? Um, we're going to wrap up with some Australia news, but I would honestly like to build something kind of what time is it? 641. Do we have time to build this? Do we have time? Do we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey now, what's that wasp nano? What's up, Wasp Nano? We got this last week in the vlog. It's the Wasp Nano RDTA. I, as soon as this arrived, it was my first choice for a retro vape. I thought, oh, I want to do that. I want to vape that. I want to vape that. So we're just going to dig in. We're going to go for this Wasp Nano in a severe way. It's Wasp Nano RDTA. Uh, I didn't have anything picked out for it to go on. I don't think... Really? Oh yeah, I did. What am I doing? I'm insane. Wasp Nano. Sorry for the bottles in the front. I'll try to move those. It's just, you know. Oh, now there's a recoil. Wasp Nano. Look at this. Look how sick. Look how sick. Look how sick. I feel like this should definitely go on like an Asmodus device. Maybe. Maybe. Look how sick. That's cool. That's cool. And one of the reasons that I was really drawn to this is because it's my favorite like drip tip cap combo where just the top of the cap, and this is acrylic, I believe, just becomes the drip tip. It just swoops, just swoops into a drip tip. I love that. I love that so much. I love that so much. Now, let's put it on something that is completely unnecessary for it. How about, does this work? Does that work? The gar? 
I guess that's a slightly different color blue. <laughs> slightly different color blue. Oh, oh. There's a build. What do we do here? Okay, this is a point six. Whoa. Okay. Um, maybe I'll leave this build in here. We'll cut down on some uh, retro vaping time, even though, I mean, it looks like a really simple deck. Super simple deck. Super simple. I should leave this build in here, right? I should leave this build in here. But a 510, oh, Mick, a 510 fits in there? Oh, that's rad. Are you for real right now? Because that's dope. Hang on. I'll be damned. A 510 does kind of fit in there. Yes. Yes. And then it can get super nerdy. Boom. Throw that in there. Um, that deck looks super easy. I may just leave this build in here. You think raise it up? Nevin says raise it. Psychopathic Gaming says do your own. Do your own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, good guy. I, I, the, to, to be hard, to be fair, the trumpet is a little bit difficult of an instrument to play. And it those high notes, you know, high C, it's hard to hit that high C note. I wouldn't be building my own. I would just be putting coils in here. And I think I like these coils. They span the distance. It looks like I need something a little bit longer. Like you can even see this leg up here is kind of derpy a little bit and, and kind of bending in a weird direction. I'm going to just leave this in here. I kind of, I'm going to leave this in here. I think I'm leaving this in here. We're at a 0.6. That's blasting it with like 80 watts. That's way too much. Let me make sure it's glowing evenly. Um, and I, how did we, where did this come from? Who did this come from? I was trying to think back to last week. Who did this come from? You hit high C above C? Okay. Okay, good guy. Okay. Well, Wait till I get my trumpet out of storage. I'm going to play Amazing Grace all over your face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know why I said that. I do. I think that's a good idea, Nevins, to raise this up a little bit. Oh, you had it set for mouth to lung. Mouth to lung? Really, Tribal Buddha? This came from Tribal Buddha. That's right. This came from Tribal Buddha. I couldn't remember if it came from Tribal Buddha or from uh, Matt or from Steven. Or from Stefan. Okay, so hang on. What's this pin for? What's that pin do? I'm so confused, Tribal Buddha. I'm so confused. Is it spring loaded? No? It's just a weird pin. Does anybody else see this pin? <laughs> ah! See this pin? Focus. She said focus. That pin right there. What is that? What do you do? It just looks like it goes. It's just part of the base. It's just part of the base, I guess. All right, well, we're going to take Tribal Buddha's. I'm just kidding. It didn't freeze. Uh, we're going to take Tribal Buddha's mouth to lung, and we're going to go uh, restricted lung. We're going to go restricted lung. It's a Wasp Nano RDTA. I wish I had some. Uh... This is a really good install, Tribal Buddha. <laughs> really good install. Now, what's the what's the best way to to wick this? What's the best way to wick this? 
Well, here's the thing. You're right. You're right. Ricky, you're right. In fact, look. We can look through this airflow. Boom, see your coil right there. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Look, Tribal Buddha did a good install. You know, I'm not, I can't talk trash on this install. I can't talk trash on it. It's a good install. Uh oh. Uh oh. I lost the end. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. Whew. Careful. So, this is a single coil. So, I just need like this much cotton. Is that too much cotton for a single coil? Okay. Maybe something like that. I'm going to... Oh, look, a tribal Buddha, look, I'm listening. I asked you. See? I'll even throw your chat up on the screen that says that I don't listen. I listen. Just not when I'm not looking at the chat. If I'm looking at the chat... <laughs> Save the cotton. I'm going to go with what I think is correct, and that is just a, uh, you know, two and a half millimeter right through the middle, and I'm going to tuck the wicks down into that little reservoir down there, and I'm going to kind of just going to treat this like a dripper, kind of just going to treat this like a dripper, right? But yeah, I would see bounce under the coil. I've always been an under coil believer as well that the airflow should be going under the coil under the coil come on now I can get it yes yes come here yes yes Great. Look at that. That's too much cotton. Now, do I want it to be, uh, do I want it to go down in to the deck, Tribal Buddha? You don't want to drink the RDA? I don't know what that means. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to have it go a little bit in there, I think. Unless Tribal Buddha tells me otherwise. Just looking for his emoji, his emoji, his picture. Into the tank a little bit. Oh, the pin can restrict the juice flow by closing off the wicking ports? For real? Hang on, let me investigate this. Oh, hell yeah. Totally, totally legit. It does. It can close down the juice flow. Totally close down the juice flow. Okay. That's sick. I was trying to pull it out instead of just slide it. You know? I was just trying to pull it out. You like that, butter squad? You like that shit? All right. Boom. I'm going to thumb this into. Boom. I'm going to thumb this into the little glass area down there. Not a ton. Like that, like this, show me. Yep, that's it. Just RDA it. It's not even, it's down there in, in, in the tank, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. Oh, sick. Oh, I see. And then that can close off the juice flow if I really want it to, if it's going too haywire on me, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Tribal Buddha's mad. Yes, into the tank. Okay, so more, more cotton than this. More cotton than that. I'll re-wick this, Tribal Buddha. Don't even tempt me. I'll do it right now. I'll waste this cotton. Get out of there, cotton. Get out of there. Tribal Buddha doesn't like you anymore. Get out of there. Whoop, maybe I did it too good. Get out of there. Waste and cotton in the name of perfection. All right, so longer. You're telling me longer. You're telling me longer. That's what she said, longer. 
All right. I can go longer. Look, I can go lower. Get ready to drink that thing. <laughs> Hang on, I can't read this. Get ready to drink that thing just like you did with the smock RDTA. Okay. I'm not I'm not a stranger to sipping, you know? Call call it the sip, the RDTA sip. I hate this cotton right now. What the hell? There it is. What the hell? Okay, so we're going we're going long. We're going long, like long, long, like long, long. No, that's too long. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit shorter. And into the tank? You really mean to tell me this goes into the tank? Okay. I believe you. Just not really. Better? Buddha. Buddha. I need your Buddha eyes. Whoops. I need your Buddha eyes. Huh? Look at that. That's right. That's good, right? I'm not even going to wait for a response. I'm assuming I'm doing this perfectly. You want, you want enough cotton so you can see it in the tank. I think I'm succeeding, you guys. I know that's rare. It's a rare win here. But I think I'm succeeding. I'm, I'm, I, this, is a, this is a win. What a win. Look at that. Wasp Nano RDTA. RDTA. Okay, here's the thing. I'm probably just gonna throw some strawberry swirl in there. It's just a thing that happens. It's just a thing that happens. Now, is there, like I said in the note, treat that long wick like it's a steel cable. It provides the wicking to the coil. It's going down to the base. It's going down to the base. Now, there's not like a way to fill this, right? I have to fill it through the wick hole. I mean, fill it through the wick hole. Mm. Look, it kind of worked. No joke, that kind of worked. There is liquid down there. And it's actually wicking up to the coil. I have not put any liquid on this coil yet, but those wicks, maybe that's a little cloggy. Maybe that's a little bit clogged. Maybe. But it should work. All right, it's full, it's wicked. Shit, let's get ready to drink this mother trucker. Airflow, full open on the gar, completely unnecessary. Look how completely unnecessary that setup is. A dual 21700 regulated gar with the tiniest little Wasp Nano Darty TA on top. All right, we're going uh, restricted direct lung. 
or direct lung because it's basically a dripper. This might need a drip tip. Tribal Buddha, did you, did you use it with a drip tip? Did you use it with a drip tip? The airflow has a slight, you know, you hear that very, very, very slight whistle. Still wicking. It's still keeping up. Looks a little dry. And I can tell you can you can tell the saturation going down. The saturation like kind of drops just a little. I think that's too much airflow. I think that's too much airflow. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. That's not quiet. That is loud. That is a, like, there's a tone. You can hear it. Yeah, mesh. Here's the problem, Neil Pitts, is I think it would have worked too well. Uh, there was a Boro bridge back in the day called the Boxer that I still really like, that I bought and still use. Haven't used it in a really long time. But it was an RDTA like this that didn't have any cables or mesh or anything. And so in a build stream or a vape fiddle months ago, I put, I did that. I put, I rolled up mesh and I put two mesh wicks on each side and then wicked the cotton on top of that. Um, but the problem was it, it worked too well. It just started wicking all the liquid out of my tank while it was sitting. It it like emptied my tank. It was a, it was the most bizarre thing ever. It was a very 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 saturated, like cr too crazy saturated, too crazy saturated. This is that loud airflow? You're right. It's fine. It's not that bad. I'm gonna turn the airflow down about halfway, maybe like that. What do you think of that? Is that about halfway? And you can only go one way on this because if you go this way, oh, you reach that screw. But if you go this way, there's a little material there to let you actually shut down the airflow. So let's go like that. That's really what I want to do. Yeah, dual 21s, the GAR. Dual 21s. It's, it's busting. Shout out to Jeremy V. Yep. You were right, Matt. It completely got rid of the whistling. Completely. Might give this five more watts. Let's start drinking here. Not bad, Tribal Buddha. Not bad. Thin the wick some. Create a space at each corner of the wick for air. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I forgot about all of like little tricks. I'm not going to close that down, but I'm going to open that pit up. I'm going to open that pit up. And then we should see some more hot wicking action. I, I'm shocked by how well this vapes. I think a lot of that is the tribal Buddha coil on the inside. It's vaping great. Wasp Nano uh, has always got good flavor. The R RDA Wasp Nano had good flavor. The RDTA wasp nano has good flavor cheers to the shed heads hope all the shed heads are having a having a having a good time right now i'll join you later but cheers to the shed heads okay so the flavor on this good that's just good flavor it seems to be wicking through wow that's the strangest thing i've ever seen look at this this side of the rdta empty 
But this side, if I can spin it, is full. Huh. How does that work? Oh, it's still, it's wicking. It's wicking. But one side of the tank is completely empty. The other side of the tank is completely full. It's weird. It looks like Mar Moses parting the Red Sea. Just trying to test the wicking ability of this. And I don't know how to get that liquid to change chambers. It's like the wicks created a wall. And on this side is liquid and on this side is just completely empty. That's a trip. It's because the wicks are too long. Jason, is that it? They're too long. Damn. Oh, is that because I tried to drink it? Here, let's flip it around. Oh, I could see that. I could see that. Dude, Wasp Nano. The flavor is legit. Legit. Turn down the airflow. Flavor becomes legit. Yeah. All right. That's enough of the Wasp Nano. Thank you, Tribal Buddha. Thank you. I like this little guy, and I want to try to find something dope to put him on. I was considering when this flux is out of pony on acid, I'm going to take this flux off and I would, I would put the wasp nano on that little green guy. I think that would look pretty sick. In fact, let's do that now. And also, I don't know if Beecher's still here. Chances are he's, uh, he's not here, but uh, there is an adjustable airflow on this. Beecher was insistent that there is no adjustable airflow on this. There is, it's just really firm at the bottom and you can open it way up Beecher way up. Yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket right there. That looks pretty slick. What do you think? The green kind of matches. The green kind of goes. The green and the blues kind of goes. This was already set to 59 watts. I'll turn it down a little bit. 55? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. That's where it's going to live on the old Asmodus, the old Asmodus with the uh, Wasp Nano RDTA, truly classic vintage setup. This is a, That's truly, truly a retro setup. What up, Clown Spaz? I see you over there on Twitch keeping it real. Appreciate you, pimp. It, it's matchy-matchy. I'm, I'm matchy-matchy for life. Except for when I'm not. Dude, why do I like this so much? This is good. This is vaping rad, Tribal Buddha. Really rad. Much better than the Gar. Yeah, much better than the Gar. The Gar needs the Gar needs bigger things. You know, the Gar needs a big RDA on top or a big tank or something on top, like a steam crave tank, you know, on a big aromamizer or something like that. Some big giant aromamizer. Here, we'll put the flux on there. That doesn't look too bad. The flux is a good RTA. The flux is a good RTA for anybody wondering. All right, flux. All right, wasp nano RDTA. RD oh, shit. Uh, it's 7 p.m., Two hours and 43 minutes. I love where this is going. There's no need for another four-hour vlog tonight. There's no need for another four-hour vlog tonight. But what I would like to do, uh, just real quickly, before I talk about Australia, um, we need to sing happy birthday. We need, to, we need to sing happy birthday to the happy birthday people. Are there any other birthdays in the chat? Uh, I, I've got phrasing. I, I haven't even seen here tonight. I haven't even seen phrasing. The great Seamus. Chuck. Is that raw Chuck? If that's raw Chuck, then raw Chuck. But Chuck Hergis, is that you, Chuck? You're the only Chuck I know. 
except for the Chuck I went to high school with. But I don't think that's you for some reason. I feel like we would have. Deacon, it's your birthday. Deacon, it's your birthday today. I'm saying your name wrong. Deacon, Deacon. Deacon, yeah, right. Maybe someday I'll do a 12 hour vlog. Maybe I'll turn RDTA. You can't not say it like rip. That's just in, in, in like engraved in my brain. Delay con, D, day con, DA con. I got you, DA con. I got you. Who wants to sing happy birthday? Panty meat? It's your birthday tomorrow? Welcome to the party, panty meat. Happy mother trucking birthday. Yours is in May, I know. No. DA con. DA con? DA con. DA D I'm gonna spell your name phonetically here. D A con. D A con. Cash? <laughs> That's comedy. That's comedy. It's like we planned that. How do I say your name? No, like this. Like this? No, like this. Like this? No, like this. Yeah, like that. But just call me this. <laughs> Coda? Coda? K-O-T-A? Coda? Hell yeah, Coda. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to Coda. <laughs> it, it is raw Chuck. It's raw Chuck. Raw Chuck. Happy birthday, Raw Chuck. Okay, we're going to sing happy mother truck and birthday to the mother truck and birthday people because I love birthdays and it's your day to just skip around the room, you know? <clears throat> That's everybody. Sing with me, please. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you guys happy birthday dear phrasing and the great Seamus and raw chuck and jisu jisu jsu yo yo to jsu jisu happy birthday jisu also tim an advocate for liberty also QHB's granddaughter. Also Lucker Stomp. Did I say that wrong? Lucker Stomp. Also Panty Meat. Also Cash. I think I got everybody. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Skip around the room, skip around the room. You know what to do, you skip around the room. Skip around the room, skip around the room. Happy mother trucking birthday to all you freaking birthday people. Phrasing, the great Seamus, Kota, Raw Chuck, Jisoo, Tim the Advocate for Liberty, Queen Honey Bunny's granddaughter, Panty Meat, and Cash. And Cash. Lucker stomp. Okay. Lucker stomp. Okay. It was one of those things that I was assuming like that's probably correct just because hashtag the internet and everybody has an interesting and unique thing, but I don't know if I just wrote it down weird. Happy birthday. Lucker stomp. Happy birthday. DA con. Huh? Huh? DA con. What do you think about that? DA con. DA con. Happy birthday. You guys. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday all around. We're getting close. We're getting close to the end. Um, I was going to do a quick getting to know Grim Green just because we haven't added anything to the Grim Green Spotify playlist in a minute, and we did go record shopping. So I feel like Butter Squad's dancing, skipping around the room. I li thank you. Thank you. For, I feel foolish sometimes if I don't think anybody's skipping. <laughs> but... We need uh, we need some skipping. Yeah, fuck yeah. Shout out Panty Meat over there on Twitch. Hey, 
Do you guys want to add some add like two songs to the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist? I have a record picked out already. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't have it. Where is it? Go. This, we haven't done this in forever. But Beecher and I went record shopping and we bought, bought, bought a bunch of records and I want to add something to the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist. And I just want to, you know, I want to tell the story of this, of buying this record. I think I, I think I told the story of buying this record, but Beecher and I, when he was here, we went to, uh, uh Amoeba Records, a huge record store, um, down. It's like just off sun. It's just off Hollywood Boulevard down in Hollywood. It's like, it's very touristy and, you know, it's Amoeba. Everybody goes to Amoeba. It's like a legendary record store. It's like, oh, you're coming to LA, you gotta go to Amoeba. Amoeba Records, huge record store. And so generally when any of my pals come into town, Amoeba's like a stop, you know? Maybe with the exception of Kent, I don't think we went to Amoeba, but Beecher and I go to Amoeba, Eric and I go to Amoeba. It's just a place, it's just a place to go. You go buy records, you, you just love it. Uh, not not tonight, not tonight, Tribal Buddha, not tonight. But, oh, you you hardcore two-step? I get, That's cool, that's cool. I used to be able to hardcore two-step, but I, I, don't, I lost all my coordination. I, I lost all my coordination when I quit my uh, hardcore dancing team, you know? <laughs> when I hit my hardcore dancing team. But listen, we're going to talk about Nirvana tonight. We're going to talk about Nirvana Nevermind tonight because this is, I mean, if there was an album that really sh like shaped who I was and shaped like my musical interests and the things I was into and the music I listened to, it was this album. It was Nirvana Nevermind. I was a, a young, a young fellow when Nirvana Nevermind came out. W when did this come out? Ah, 1991. I was a freshman in high school. And at that time, I was listening to lots of metal. Lots of metal, just really into metal. I was listening to all of it. Not necessarily, I mean, not like, I mean, yeah, metal, like metal, metal, like metal, metal, Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer. I was listening to a lot of DRI at that particular time, uh, Guar for sure, but a lot of metal, metal. And then I, I remember the Headbangers Ball like shifting and suddenly the Headbangers Ball on MTV was like, okay, well now it's Pearl Jam too, you know? It's like, oh, here's some metal, you know, videos, and then also Stone Temple Pilots, you know? And so all the metal people got really like uppity about grunge because grunge was encroaching into the hard rock and metal space. And, you know, now Stone Temple Pilots was on the headbangers ball and a lot of like really core metal guys and, you know, just music people in general were, were like upset at this intrusive style of music that was suddenly so popular, but I couldn't get enough of it. I didn't understand why people were anti grunge. If you're into heavy music, like if you're into heavy music, you listen to metal, you listen to any heavy music. It's not like grunge was like, soft. I'm sure like sure some Stone Temple Pilot songs, they're pretty soft. You know, Candlebox, super soft. Gin Blossoms, okay, now we're getting into really soft stuff. But like Old Soundgarden, was heavy as shit. Bad Motorfinger, heavy as shit. Old Nirvana, just aggressive, loud, punky, yelly shit. And sure, this was a very like cultivated for the mainstream songs. And I understand that they wrote more radio friendly stuff, but smells like teen spirit. I watched like the debut of this video and it just, I loved everything about it. I loved everything about it. I remember seeing Nirvana uh, playing smells like teen spirit. And I thought those guys don't give a shit. They're just playing loud sloppy guitars, Kurt Cobain, not even singing. He's just, nah, nah, you know, I loved it. I loved everything about it. And I worshiped Smells Like Teen Spirit 
on MTV. And so keep in mind that this is 1991. There's no internet. I have MTV, I have the radio, I have my friends. So I can watch Smells Like Teen Spirit on MTV, I can listen to Smells Like Teen Spirit on the radio, and I can talk to my friends about Nirvana and Smells Like Teen Spirit, you know? That was about the extent of it. And I remember driving down to Reno, which was at that time from Tahoe, eh, like an hour and a half to a two hour drive. And we went to the Target at the far end of Reno. And I remember walking into the music section and that Target just had a, a wall of nevermind, a wall of nevermind. And I remember turning the corner and just seeing this wall of nevermind. And I, it, it just, I just let it like wash over me. I couldn't handle it. It was like euphoria. I thought, oh, this is, this is the best day of my life. And now I just have to convince my mom to buy me Nirvana Nevermind. And so luckily, luckily, Target, yep, yep, Ugly Kid Joe, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, 100%. UKJ was, I was, I loved Ugly Kid Joe. We're not going to talk about Ugly Kid Joe, but Ugly Kid Joe ruled, ruled. Just a wall of, yeah. <laughs> just a wall of it. And I thought, um, my mom's never going to buy this for me. That's insane. But luckily, Target, when they put out their CDs, they put little stickers over the baby dick, you see. They put, they, whoops. They put a little sticker over it. They put a little sticker over it. So part of the offensive part of the record was gone. I convinced my mom to buy me Nirvana Nevermind. Convinced her. And it was awesome. And I was so happy. And I remember walking around the rest of Target just looking at it. Like, oh, wow, yeah. I wonder what lithium sounds like. I want to hear that song. What's that song sound like? Yeah, something in the way. What's that? What's that sound like? And I was just, you know, investigating every little, you know, try not to look at the baby dick too much. But, you, you know, you're looking through it and you're like, I just can't wait to listen to this. I can't wait to listen to this. But no, you don't get to listen to it. You have to get in the car with your mom and then go to a fabric store for like another hour. And you're just sitting in the car and you're like, Mom, God, I want to go home with Nirvana. Oh no, we just need to make one more stop. We're going to stop off at Mill End Fabrics in Carson City and I'm going to spend another 6 weeks looking at fabric and we're like, "Oh my god." So eventually, eventually, after the long hours ride home in the car and after long hours of sitting at fabric stores just thinking about Nirvana smells like teen spirit, I got home, I plugged in my headphones, I put the CD in and I just listened to it. Back to front, back to front, back to front, back to front, like 16,000 times in a row. And I loved it. And I couldn't get enough of it. And I thought, this is like my new favorite thing. And it was my new favorite thing because it felt like I had discovered something like of my own volition, if that makes any sense. Like, I listened to what my dad listened to. So it's like, oh, you, I listened to The Who. I listened to Led Zeppelin. I listened to The Doors. Uh, you know, I listened to all these 60s rock bands. And sure, that's just what I listened to because it was there. I didn't choose it. This I chose. I heard it and I chose it and I went, I like this. I'm going to buy this. This is for me. And I felt like, I don't know. I felt like I, I was... I was just a super fan of Nirvana, like an ultimate supreme super fan of Nirvana. Yeah, Bleach, like Bleach is classic, classic Nirvana. Nevermind, rules. Unplugged is like, is Nirvana Unplugged like the greatest, one of the greatest albums of all time? Possibly, possibly. Team Faith No More has entered the chat. You see that? You see that? That is the real thing. That is the real thing. So Nirvana. Love it. How do you not love it? It's Nirvana. It's, it's like this was everything. This was grunge. This was angry. This was sloppy guitars. And, and just I remember the first time I saw Kurt Cobain wearing long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts. 
I thought, well, I'm about to make that my whole identity. And I just rocked long sleeve shirts under short sleeve shirts for like the next 15 years. It was goofy about thermals, multicolor thermals, black and white thermals, t-shirts, thermals. I loved wearing jorts with thermals and combat boots. Like it was so goofy. The grunge style. I loved it. I loved looking like a slob. I loved not washing my hair. I just had long, like nasty, ratty grunge hair because I was growing my hair out because I was all metal, you know? And then when grunge hit, it's like, well, no, I don't have to wash it. Now it can just be fucking gross all the time. And I just wear the same flannel for six months on end. You know, it was, yeah, unplugged, dim. Nirvana unplugged is like chef's kiss. Just, Just chef's kiss chef's kiss so i'm going to show you this side of the album so we don't have to uh <laughs> look at no uh bd here but let me hang on let me find this and i'm going to add these nope it's, it's hard typing with one hand you know it's a difficult it's a difficult but we're not going to go with any be, be, like smells like teen spirit Probably not. Come as you are. Probably not. What we're going to go with are the two, the two dead center tracks, the two dead center tracks, Polly, Polly and territorial pissings, Polly and territorial pissings. Polly is the last track on side. A territorial pissings is the first track on side. B those are the songs, you know, I, you get this home and you're like, smells like teen spirit. Of course, I'm going to listen to that band and and you're like, here we go. Love it. Come on, Dave Grohl. Give it to me. And then it's so good. And then and you never skip a track. You never skip a track. And then I got to Polly and I was like, is this my favorite song? Is this my favorite song? So we're going to add Polly and Territorial Pissings. Add to playlist. Where is the Getting to Know Grim Green Spotify playlist? Boom. Add to playlist. There it is. There it is. Uh, I'm going to share a link to this playlist in the description of this video, in the chat. This is just stuff that I've been curating as long as I've been collecting records. Every track in this playlist is from a record that's back here or a CD or a CD or a CD. Um, But it's a really a a hodgepodge of like rock and metal and death metal. And uh, there's some Dr. Dre in there and some other weird stuff, you know. 80s music from uh, Rad, the Rad soundtrack, <laughs> Hammer Smashed Face, some MXPX, Green Day, lots of Guar, lots of Clutch, The Obsessed, yeah, The Black Dahlia Murder, Romance Mechanics, Drag Me Under, Suicidal Tendencies, Danzig. I've been into a lot of music over the years in my life, and Polly and Territorial Pissings are on this playlist now. So, Boosh, 9000. That's a little bit about me and how much I loved, loved, loved Nirvana Nevermind. Loved it. Loved it. And people get mad. (laughs) Nirvana shouldn't be on the Headbangers Ball. Like, eh, who cares? Like, (laughs) it's all heavy, aggressive music. Like, I don't understand how you draw those hard lines. I mean, I draw hard lines with metal, but I don't know, understand how other people draw hard lines with metal. (laughs) So what I'm trying to say is I can be elitist, but nobody else should be. <laughs> that was, I shouldn't have said that. That's, I didn't mean that in any capacity. I didn't mean that in any capacity. I just, I was so into Nirvana. I just did not understand the hate. Did not understand the hate. Let's wrap this up. Let's wrap this up. We're going to do a liquid tasting uh, real quickly. I have to mention Australia. Let me just, uh, let me just mention Australia real quickly. No. Okay. Right. Let's jump into some Australia news. Um, the only thing of note, I believe, that happened in Australia is some cops in Australia just manhandled some kid to the ground because he was vaping. Why can't I find the video? Okay, this is upsetting. Disappointed. Oh, okay, okay, here it is, 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 here it is. Here it is. Uh, Daily Mail, you know, it's so it's the Daily Mail, so I get that it's the Daily Mail. 
I get that it's the Daily Mail, but video. Shocking moment. A 13-year-old boy is thrown to the ground by a police officer after he was caught with a vape. Now, me, I, I'm just going to be delicate about how I approach this. I hate everything about this, and I cannot believe I see people on the internet defending the cops. He was being a little shit. He deserved that. Hi, that's not illegal. Being a little shit is not illegal. Yelling obscenities at police officers is not illegal. They can't arrest you for that. They can't manhandle you to the ground for swearing, for shouting, for, you know, that's not a normal thing. That's not okay. The reason that this kid was manhandled to the ground was purely because of a vape. If this kid was doing nothing, these cops would have just walked right past him. The vape started it all. The vape is the reason he got manhandled to the ground. Everything that happens after that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he was a shit. It doesn't matter if he was being annoying. It doesn't matter if he called the cops cunts. None of that matters because none of that would have happened if they weren't looking for a vape. And it's really interesting to see people like, you know, Dr. Sandro over there in Australia and Mark Butler over there in Australia going on and on and on and on and on about how this is not going to affect consumers. We're not going to enforce on consumers. We're not going to we're not going to patrol looking for consumers who are vaping. Except they are and they did and they are. So they lied. Still again, underage vaping is still illegal though. Yes, but if there wasn't a ban, this interaction would never have happened. That's, that's the important point. There was a gentleman in New York named Eric Garner. He was illegally selling loose cigarettes. So the crime that he had committed was essentially tax avoidance because he wasn't paying taxes on these loose cigarettes he was selling. The cops killed him dead to the ground, just killed him in the street for selling loose cigarettes. So the problem wasn't the cigarettes. The problem was the ban that the cops were looking for an excuse to have this interaction, this interaction wouldn't have happened if there wasn't all of this paranoia in Australia about youth vaping. It was a cigarette, not a chance, not a fucking chance. Nope. That cop would have not even given two second thoughts about someone smoking a cigarette because that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for vaping. It, Swazzy, thank you. Underage vaping does not make assault on a child. Okay. A, a child saying uh, obscenities to a cop does not make an assault on a child okay. A child acting like a little piece of shit in front of a cop does not make an assault on a child okay. Thank you. Thank you, Swazzy. It's not illegal to be annoying. It's not. It's just not. It's not illegal. It's not a punishable offense. It's not a... It's not a manhandle you to the ground and cuff you in front of your mother offense. No, no, I didn't say that. I'm saying in America, we just tase the youth. In America, we just tase them. There's been a, a, a multiple accounts of, remember, Maryland, boardwalk, kid was just vaping. Cop came up, told him to put away. He's like, okay, and then get tased. <laughs> we just tase them in the U.S., Welcome to Australia, where we want to protect kids from vaping so badly that we're just going to manhandle them to the ground and arrest them for it. Was he shouting, I'm protecting you from vaping the whole time? Like Mark Butler probably wants him to. It's a shocking video. Uh, it's not actually that shocking if you've been around on the internet for a while, you know. I watched uh, someone get beheaded when I was like 14 years old on the internet. So I've been a little bit desensitized for a while, but it's just a little bit shocking nonetheless. If watching a 13 year old getting manhandled to the ground 
literally just for not smoking cigarettes, just for not smoking cigarettes. The point is it shouldn't be illegal. And the reason that this interaction happened was because, because of all of the hysteria and all of the hubbub. My mouse just died. Uh, so if I wait a few minutes, it should pop back on. My, my Mac that I hate, by the way, this is the worst computer I've ever owned. Just every few minutes, it's like every 20 minutes, it completely detaches everything Bluetooth. So my speakers disconnect, my mouse disconnects, my trackpad disconnects, and then my keyboard disconnects. And the only way to fix it is to plug in the mouse. Nope, I'm gonna have to do it this way. I'm gonna have to plug in my trackpad so that I can use the mouse again. Motherfuckers. Okay, so that will work. Mouse still dead, all right. So let me go to my settings. Okay, <laughs> on. Let me go to my settings and then we're gonna go to Bluetooth and then it says it's all connected still. So what I have to do is disconnect everything. I have to forget these devices, forget the mouse, forget the keyboard, forget both of these. Yep, forget them all. And then we turn it off. Thanks, Apple. And then we turn it on, plug it back in, turn it on, might connect. There it is, connected. So now I can unplug it. Now the magic mouse is connected. Now the keyboard will be connected at some point. Great. Thanks, Apple. Appreciate you, pimp. So yeah, I'll put a link to this down in the description if anybody wants to watch this video, but it's, uh, it's pretty gross. And uh, it's, I don't know, I'm not gonna comment. I thought it was shocking to see people like defending the cop. Like, yeah, that kid should have been. Like, what? That is a child and being a smart ass is not illegal. And that's not an excuse to assault a kid. That's fucking crazy for vaping, for doing like the most harmless thing in the history of harmless things. Unreal, unreal, unreal. It bothers me, it bothers me. I've always, I mean, it's okay. I'm not gonna go into it. We're not gonna talk about, uh, we're not gonna talk about anything that's uh, of questionable uh, content that's not related to vaping. And so that's what's related to vaping. So that's what's going on in Australia. It looks like it's going well over there. The prescription model seems to be working as intended. You know, Mark Butler, he just wanted uh, big tobacco to have a monopoly in the country. He wasn't like, we need to keep big tobacco out of our country. He was like, no, we want big tobacco to have a monopoly in our country. They're going to provide us the pharmaceutical vapes that we're forcing everybody to get a prescription for. So we're bogging down their healthcare system with millions of requests for prescriptions that are going unanswered. We have these horrible prescription vapes that are already being hacked. People are re-wicking them, refilling them. There's also a straight up boycott, like don't get a prescription, boycott all of this stuff. There's still some companies shipping to Australia. So Australia is a little bit of a mess right now and it really makes me sad. It really, it really very makes me sad. Yep. Youth are always going to try new things more than adults. As you age, you can start to get more critical. Yep. Ben, yes. Good Lord. It's like, it's like, it's like all of us are doing this for the first time. And when we're young, we want to try new things. And that's why I smoked cigarettes at 13 years old, 13 years old. I'm not going to speak anymore about cops or police officers other than saying it is soft carrots very sad times in australia very very sad times in australia the black market will always rise i completely agree the black market will be there for everybody the black market will be there it's not going to be you know i don't know i mean i don't know what the i don't know what the market i don't know what the illicit market in australia is going to quite look like you know, I only know what it looks like in the U.S. It's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so that's the last of that news for the night. Uh, I hope you like the news chunks. I think I like the news chunks. I might keep the news chunks going. 
Because right now, oh, thank you. Thank you, Apple. Your magic mouse is now connected to this Mac. It was before too, until you fucked it up. All right, uh, I think I'm gonna check in on the Super Chats and then the last order of business is <laughs> yeah, Dre, I got something to say. Yep, they did, Lee. They did. Let's uh, let's check in on those super chat. I've been listening to that. I I truly and honestly, that's literally all I've been listening to all year long. When when Beecher was here, all we did was listen to metal and the ocean, and then as soon as he left. It's just hip hop. <laughs> it's just Dr. Dre. Like not even just hip hop. It's like Dr. Dre, NWA, Tupac, Snoop Dogg. That's what I'm on right now. That's it. And I've been dabbling with sh with with the wee baby Seamus's hip hop playlist he sent me. But that's like literally all I listen to anymore. It's kind of crazy. I never thought that would happen ever in my life at you know almost 50 years old. It's like you're gonna like hip hop suddenly. What? What? Well, I remember being in high school and saying that rap rhymed with crap and that, cr and that crap wasn't music. And I was like, anti-rap, silly, silly. Should have been open to new experiences, you know? Should have been open to new experiences. Let's, uh, let's get on with these super chats. If there's any remaining, well, I will check the hella chats, of course. Raw Chuck over there on the hella chats. It's my party and I'll skip if I want to. Hell yeah, skip if you want to, raw chuck. Skip around the room. Skip around the room. Kyle, thank you for that subscription. And DA Con, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate it. Raw chuck, yeah. Keep YouTube's grubby hands off of uh off of those donations. I appreciate that. Barbara Burgess, yep. Speaking of X, appreciate you. Ringo, random off-topic question. Favorite movie that takes place in a single day? Holy shit. I, here's the thing, Ringo. I love, love movies that take place in a single day. Love them. It's some of my favorite types of movie. Some of my favorite types of movie is like what you would call a bottle episode, right? A bottle episode. I like them that take place all in one day Super bad. Super bad? Adventures in babysitting? Super bad? This is di that's difficult. I need to think. I think super bad is my jam though. I think that's a really great one to one one tone. One like bottle episode of a movie. Yeah. I'm go 12 angry men. 12 angry Falling down, Groundhog Day. Whoa, how did I miss all these? Yeah, these are all good. Reservoir Dogs, great. The Strangers, great. 12 Angry Men, great. Groundhog Day though. Groundhog Day is like, Groundhog Day is like perfect, isn't it? It's perfect. I still like Super Bad though. I think I still like Super Bad. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Virus Bueller's day off. Do bow bow. Chicka chicka. Do bow bow. I'm gonna go with I'm still gonna go with Super Bad. I think I like Super Bad. I think I like Super Bad as like a one day movie. It's like a one day night movie. They have such an adventure, you know? They have that uh they have the laundry detergent beer. That's good. Day okay, nope, nope. Ian, Ian. Holy shit, Ian, Ian, dazed, dazed, dazed and confused, dazed and confused. The Breakfast Club. Oh God, Ringo. Oh God. Oh God. Clerks, 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 clerks. Back to the future. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Nicole Stockdale, I was thinking about Back to the Future recently. Uh, it might have been the shed time when I was thinking about this, but Back to the Future 1 and 2, all the way up until 3, is all one day. 
It's all one day. It's just time traveling. They never sleep. There's no night and then daytime. There's no like, well, Marty, we'll get it this tomorrow or we'll go back to the future tomorrow. It's all happening. All the time travel is happening in one consistent timeline. And it's literally the first two movies are just one day. That's unbelievable. I think Dazed is the winner. I think Dazed is the winner. Mall rats. Mall rats. Okay, well, Dogma doesn't take place on one day, does it? No, no, no. Does it? No. All right, well, here's the thing. Th good side good side quest there, Ringo. That's a good side quest. I love the off-topic questions. Days and Confused, I think, is where I'm going to go. I know I was saying super bad, and I still kind of want to say super bad, but I just like Dazed and Confused. It's Dazed and Confused is the king. Lo-Fi for Llamas, I strongly recommend that you check out Perfume for Now by Skating Polly. Sounds like Nirvana. I think you'll really enjoy Skating Polly. They rock. All right, Lo-Fi for Llamas. Hang on. Let me uh, get to Spotify. And we're talking about... Uh, Skating Polly. Skating Polly. All right. I got him pulled up. I'm going to give him a spin right after this. Yep, I'm down. They look like nerds. I'm here for it. Thank you, Lo-Fi for Llamas. I will check them out. And then Mike D. Yo, yo, Nick. That's all I got to say. Mike D, you, you, don't, you don't even need to say that, bro. I know, you, I know I have an eternal yo, yo from Mike D. Appreciate you, bro. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing real well. There is no Back to the Future 3. I can't tell if you're making like a statement like how I say there's no ninth Star Wars movie. <laughs> I say that The Last Jedi is the last Star Wars movie. Are you, is that your, is it your like, your, 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 your stance, like your line in the sand, like I refuse to acknowledge Back to the Future 3? Did he have to wait till the Enchantment Under the Sea dance? I don't think he did. Oh, maybe he did. Because he went to Biff's house. No, he didn't have to wait for the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. They got there the day of the dance. I think they got there the day of the dance. I agree. Uh, there was a long time, Mr. Free... I appreciate you saying that. There was a, a, a long time in my life where I said that Back to the Future is the, my favorite trilogy, is the superior trilogy. It's the best trilogy. It's the best trilogy. Because it was, it was just so perfect, beginning to end. I loved all of it. I loved that they went back to the Old West. I loved the time machine train at the end. I liked all of it. Back to the Future, really great. Really great. Now, see, Back to the Future... Back to the Future 3, I think, is just underrated. You know, I think it's just underrated. It's really good, but it, it, I think it's underrated because Back to the Future 1 was so good, and then Back to the Future 2 was, like, amazing, and we went to the future, and then you go back to the past, and Marty, and there's two Martys, and, like, ah. and then Back to the Future 3, it's kind of like, oh, you're in the Old West. Oh, and then there's an Old West Biff. Oh, then there's an Old West version of the mayor. Oh, there's an Old West version of, you know. It's kind of a little bit, eh, slightly weak sauce, but I think it's only a little bit weak sauce because the other two are so amazing. So amazing. Okay, so you're saying Back to the Future was not one day? The first Back to the Future was not one day. It started on one day, and then the next day was the, was the day, though. Like... Twin Pines Mall, 5 a.m. the next day, the whole movie happens, and at the end of the movie, they're back at the Twin Pines Mall. That's one day. That's one day. It wasn't even one day. It was just a few hours, really, with time travel. Makes your brain melt a little bit. Makes your brain melt a little bit. All right, anyway, 
off topic. Let's get back on topic. Let's try Slater's super chat that says tattoos are stupid. <laughs> hey, love y'all. Uh, you know where it goes, Slater. That's right. Tattoos go on your body. Everybody knows that. You're right. Tattoos are kind of lame. One, yeah, exactly. One and two were so perfect that three was like not quite perfect, but amazing. Still amazing. Diehards one day. Diehards like real time. That plays out in real time. That's like one hour and a half of real life. You know? Diehards one day. Dazed and confused. Final answer. Dazed and confused. Final answer. Does anybody want to have a contest? Does anybody want to have a contest? Come on now. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you want to have a real quick contest before we do some liquid tasting. Huh? Huh? Okay, let me uh, let me uh, do a few things here. Get prepared. Nope, that's the wrong one. This one. Yep. Got to open my emails. So you, hang on, let me grab a piece of paper, show you the email, unless someone can do. Oh, right on. Okay, so everybody, just as an update, do you remember when Tim won the CASA giveaway and it was really expensive to ship it to it in Sweden, ship him to it in Sweden and, and, and everybody like pitched in to get him shipping? It arrived. Uh, everybody, I want you to know, Tim's package has arrived in Sweden. He went and picked it up. All is well. We got it there, you guys. We got it there. All right. All right. Let's do a contest. Let's do a quick contest. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to phrase this, but we're going to do, I'm just going to put contest at groomgreen.com. Um, so, okay. I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this. So this is going to be, uh, you're going to email. Yep. Contest at grimgreen.com. Thank you. Earn. Thank you. Earn contest at grimgreen.com. Answer is the subject. Contest at grimgreen.com. Answer is the subject. Okay. This is, this is a contest. This isn't, this isn't nothing illegal going on here. This isn't an illegal raffle. This isn't anything shady going on. I just want YouTube and the greater, you know, the NSA who's watching, obviously nothing illegal is going on here. This is a contest. This is a skill, skill required contest, not necessarily a skill, but you got it. It's a, it's going to be a good guess. So, um, this right here, let me show you. This right here is the shift tank. Okay. So there's a little bit of background information. See this shift tank? Shift tank. Vapors cloud, shift tank. Vapors cloud coil on the inside, not a bubble glass. Shift tank, vapors cloud coil on the inside. It's empty right now. I have, I have filled this tank up five times, five times. I vaped five tankfuls of this, five tankfuls. The question is how many puffs is five tankfuls? Answer is your subject. How many puffs, how many puffs is five tankfuls? How many puffs equals Five tank fulls. How many puffs equal five tank fulls of this shift tank? How many puffs? Contest at grimgreen.com. Answer as the subject. How many puffs are five tank fulls of the uh, of the shift tank? How many puffs? Five tank fulls. Five tankfuls. So if you want to uh, win a contest, you don't even know what the prize is. You want to see the prize while people are trying to answer? 
All right. Well, uh, the first thing is going to be just something that I have that needs to be out of my office. It's a perfectly good tank. It's an Inakin slide top. Inakin slide top tank. And to go along with your Inakin slide top tank is the Vapresso package, which is going to be the third to last ever made Grim Green Cross 3 Nano with a bottle of Apple Pear 20 milligram for the inside. Get out of here. All this could be yours if you just guess how many puffs equal five tankfuls. Uh, 657, it's not 657, it's not 987, it's not 321, it's not 6,000. It's not 13,000. Do you guys even want to win this? It's not 136, not 170, not 1700. Let me, let me double check. Uh, yep, okay. It's still the same number. Uh, everybody, I want to say right now is a oh, way too high. Chris Hansen's pretty close there. It's not 5,000. It's not 138. It's not 767, not 426, not 1700. Under 1,000. It's under 1,000. Uh, it's not 370. I'm looking for, hopefully someone can get it like specifically so I don't have to do that. This person was closer. This person was closer. This person was closest. That's pretty close. Uh, not triple sixes. That would be cool though. Uh, it's not 132. Not 132. Not 1,123. Nope. So far... So far, there's a person who's the closest, but no one's gotten it on the nose yet. D Dustin. <laughs> nope, not 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 750, my male. Uh, not 524, Dustin. Not 1200. Microwave oven, not 421. Nope, you're all... Let me just say, as a general... I chose this because I knew it would throw people off and 319 puffs microwave oven is way too many. Just want to say that right out of the gate, way too many. I guess there's no limit to how many times you can enter. I just, I didn't say anything. So we're just going until we get it. There's still one person who's close. There's still one person who's close. Nope, nope, nope. Here, let's turn on some... Uh, some, some contest music. Nope. 385, 887. Nope. 803, way, way too high. 886, way, way too high. Way, way too high. 820, way, way too high. Way, 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 way too high. 774, way too high. 563, way too high. 256, way too high. Lee? You're getting close, Lee. Now someone has to choose it. Now someone has to guess it on the nose because the two closest guesses are the exact same distance apart from the actual answer. And there can't be two winners. 873, way too high. 123, still too high. Math Snyder, zero. That's too low. <laughs> We've reached the bottom. That's, that's too low. 123, nope. 97, nope. Uh, 86, nope. 90, nope. 452, no, 167, no, 120, no, 120, no, okay, well, here's the thing, there's someone very close, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a few more seconds here, uh, and there's someone who is obscenely close obscenely close obscenely close not 325 not 208 not 178 not 140 not 147 not 22 not 223 not 239 not 113 not 17 not 87 not 452 not 166 not 200 not 87 not 68, not 200, not 20, not 13. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm just going to call it right now. There's a winner. Stop. There's a winner. 
There's a winner. There's a winner. There is a winner. There's an actual winner. There's a winner. There's a winner. Okay. Okay. Well, there is a winner. There is a winner. I'm going to include this note in the package. I'm going to put this here. Yes. Congratulations to the winner. The winner is the first number that I saw that was really close. Like, really very close. Here it is. I'm going to email this person back. I want to tell you that the actual number, and here, I'll show you the actual number to make sure that there's no funny business. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shift tank, a very empty shift tank. Here's the screen. I'm just going to tap the button so that it doesn't add a puff, but just so we can see the puff counter at the bottom. Okay, everybody ready? See those puffs? 70. Seven, zero, puffs. 70 puffs. Five tankfuls is 70 puffs. Whoops, di displayed it. What? Oh, there it is. 70 puffs. Five tankfuls is 70 puffs. And the person who was the closest, the first that was the closest, Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Congratulations, microwave oven. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, there are literally two of these left in existence. And I'm going to be giving them away very, very slowly because the Cross 3 Nano still slaps. And we get some Apple Pear. And you're going to get a fill tank. And you're going to tell me how the flavor is on it. Okay? Okay? That's how it's going to work. 70. I was, listen, I was shocked. When I posted that on Twitter that this thing chugs juice or on Instagram, chugs chugs never flooded never gurgled never leaked anywhere it was just vape it and vape it and i got like 20 puffs in and i was like oh shit i need to refill it again vaping it vaping it 15 more puffs i'm like okay i need to refill it again refilled it five times five tankfuls this is the fifth full tankful that i've put in here 70 puffs seven zero puffs that's a trip with no uh, bubble glass on there, it's like a four mil capacity. I think it's like a four mil capacity with no bubble glass. My kit didn't come with a bubble glass. So I'm just vaping it, vaping it, and vaping it. We're gonna fill it up again. Boop. I feel like I could demonstrate this. I feel like I could sit here and just take like 10 or 15 puffs and it would be more than halfway down, more than halfway down. Plus there's just not enough airflow. There's just not enough airflow on this tank. Stoked microwave oven. I'm stoked for you, dude. I'm stoked. I'm glad it went to you. I'm glad it went to someone. Hell yeah, microwave oven. Uh, I, I, I emailed you back. I'm sorry I called you a jerk. <laughs> uh, when is the Lost Vape? So here's the thing, Severed. I'm trying to get Lost Vape stuff again. I think that company changed ownership uh, because I, maybe not, but it looked like it was under new ownership and I just stopped getting Lost Vape stuff. So I'm going to reach back out to Lost Vape because... 
Uh, the Orion 3 is coming soon. I think it's on its way to me. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, Lost Vape, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And congratulations, Microwave Oven. Congratulations to you. I appreciate you being here week after week. It, it really means a lot to me. I, I, one of the reasons I love the vlog is that it just feels like I get to hang out with my people again, you know? I just see you guys. I see your faces. I see your names. I go, ah, okay, I'm home. We're home. <laughs> I made it. We're home. This is it. So congratulations, Microwave Oven. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. International shipping, we'll get it to you. It's just a pod. It's just a pod and a liquid. We'll get it to you. We will get it to you, Microwave Oven. But I hope you enjoy it. You're one of the few people that have one of these... Uh, Cross pods, cross grim greens. So now is officially the last act of the vlog. That was way too loud and I'm sorry. But a squad, uh, the Blaze IAO and the Blaze Bridge are both high quality, high quality, super high quality, very high quality. I like the bridge a lot and I like the AIO good you know it's not my favorite aio but uh i do still really like it i tend to like i don't know like this one's real chunky and small i like that and the stubby it's real chunky and small and i like that even like the the mission orbit or the mission astro it's kind of like feeling a little bit too tall these days i'm like whoa that's a big aio you know just feels i like i want them compact like give me a small little tiny aio you know Give me a small one. That's what I'm all about. But the bridge is uh, legit. I'll vouch for that bridge all day long, all week long. Okay. Well, uh, let's get over to the poll. Uh, tea and biscuits. Okay. 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 Tea and biscuits won the first round. So that means tea and biscuits will be moving on to the second round. And that's fine. And that's just things that happen. So here we go. adding laughter to after one of the flavors because I know it's not going to get voted on at all. Whoa, that's not how you spell that. You don't put two S's in the middle of pudding. <laughs> that's crazy. There's a poll in the chat. Please vote right now. If you don't vote right now, you, it's, this is it. This is the last chance. This is the last chance. And here's what's up for elimination. Ready? Fluid tea and biscuits. Oh, shit. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. F nope. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Flu fluid tea and biscuits. Yorkshire sipper. Yorkshire sipper. Then, country clouds, cornbread pudding. Then, the one that I laughed at that I've just been wanting to taste for a while and we will never taste it, blueberry lemon. Blueberry lemon from Juice Head. So we got blueberry lemon, we got fluid Yorkshire sipper tea and biscuits, and then we got country clouds cornbread pudding. Uh, Ern said I should taste this cornbread pudding sooner rather than later, and so that's what we're doing. It's putting, putting it up right now. Let me, uh, while you guys are voting, I actually need to re-wick this real quick because I forgot to do that in my preppings. Biscuit blueberry pudding? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Okay, yeah, these are three millimeters, so... I'm gonna get the, the last of my cotton bacon, I guess. Let's wrap this rick up. <laughs> Keep voting. I don't even know what's ahead right now. Oh, this is too much. This is too much cotton. Yeah, maybe not. I'm gonna push it. It's more of a winter liquid? I don't, you know. 
it's look it was raining here today it was hailing here today Ern. it was hailing here it's still winter here it's still winter here you need more e-liquid rating videos yeah Here's the problem that with e-liquid rating videos or like even I'm sometimes reluctant to even do like my top fives or anything like that because, you know, taste is one of those things that is just so wholly objective or wholly subjective rather that I, I'm hesitant to really go overboard and recommend liquids to people because in the past there's been liquid recommendations that I've made where people got mad at me <laughs> like i bought this and it was awful i bought this and it was terrible i bought this and i hate it and so uh you know i try to you know be be diplomatic with it and you know try to speak in general objective terms rather than saying like i really like this or i think this is really good i try to describe things objectively and help you know hopefully people can make their own decisions but don't don't buy a liquid just because i like it because i like some weird shit but i also like really good normal shit too so you know check Cornbread pudding! Cornbread pudding is in the lead! Cornbread pudding is in the lead! Hell yeah, get it, cornbread pudding! Fucking cornbread pudding! Oh, what's in last place? Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Blueberry lemon. Thank you to the loyalists that continue to vote for blueberry lemon week after week after week and it never wins <laughs> it never wins but you guys keep voting for it and that it, that makes me happy i might as well just take this out of the running we're here between tea and biscuits and some cornbread pudding i think cornbread pudding is going to win i think cornbread pudding is going to win yeah definitely exactly what Ern said microwave oven i got we'll get that shit we'll get it to you no problem We'll get it to you, no problem. People have the, the the overwhelming desire to come together and help other people, and it's and I love it. And so that's what we do here. We got I got you. I got you, microwave. If you don't like cornbread pudding, your mouth is officially broken. Oh, it's going up. It's getting higher in the ratings. Okay. If I don't like cornbread pudding, my, my mouth is officially broken. Okay. Well, how about... How, okay, what I need to know. Oh, okay, TJ, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, TJ. I guess we don't need that up there. But TJ says, I bought Poet Sweet Black Tea because of you, Nikki, and I freaking love it. Yes, that was a liquid that I immediately fell in love with and started suggesting to people. TJ, not everybody liked it. <laughs> not everybody was as into that as you and I are, my friend. So, you know, I try to be... I think Country Clouds has taken it, right? Yep. We're just going to do this. Country Clouds, congratulations. I don't like your favorite juice, Rifle Man. What, what juice is your favorite juice that I don't like? What is that? What juice is that? Steve-O says they changed the recipe for cornbread pudding. Oh, yes. Ringo. Vigilante Juice Co. made some of my favorite liquids, hands down. Skull and Crossbones was an all day for me. Grey Ghost was one of those, like, it was a, a Earl Grey tea, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was an Earl Grey tea. It was delicious. Frank G., the Raga, good. I like it a lot. It's been getting a lot of use. I like exposed batteries. I like that the way the battery fits in there. I, I like a lot about the Raga, Frank G., I, that's something I would recommend if you're if you're in the if you're in the market for an AIO and it's a little bit more compact than some others you know that exist out on the market there. Yep, I almost <laughs> crunchy cornbread pussing. I typed that raw chuck. I typed that. 
Let's do, uh, let's knuckle this. Let's knuckle this. Did I shake it up enough? Yep. Let's knuckle this. Okay. Okay, cornbread. Okay, cornbread pudding. Okay, cornbread pudding. That's uh, pretty fascinating. It's given me, you know, I'm immediately drawing comparisons to every other like corn based liquid I've ever had. It's given me a little uh, maize vibes, you know, a little bit of that maize vibes. Put a dirty battery wrap. I'm just kidding. It's camouflaged. Not all of my wraps are dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the atomizer we're tasting this on today is a new atomizer from uh, our good friend Kent, Twisted Messes. Whenever he decides to release it is when I'll review it. And I hope it's soon because many people ask. All right. Here we go. Country Clouds Cornbread Pudding. Boop, boop, boop. There's a few drops. Cheers. Okay. Let me sit with this. Let me, can I sit with this for a sec? I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna vape this for a second. We'll come back. Well, Ern, I guess my taste buds are working just fine because this slaps. Like, slap slaps. Like, like slaps in a way that I'm kind of wondering why I haven't been vaping this longer than just today type of slaps it's very oh you like those Seamus hell yeah those dude these are my lucky vlog shoes I wear these every vlog only on the vlog and they've never left the house they've left the house once to take out the trash and that's it they're an indoor shoe only on vlog day I want these to last for the rest of my life <laughs> I'm already too sentimentally attached to them uh, this is really good, 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 really very, really damn good, crazy good. Lower on the corn vibe than I thought it would be. I was expecting a little bit more like cornflake sugar cookie or like Turkish maize, but it's really chill. It's really, really mellow. What I mostly get, like Ern said, is it's like vanilla maple cornbread. 
it's like vanilla pudding and then cornbread crumbles and then maple syrup on top. I don't know if this has actually maple in it, but holy cow, ho- urn, urn, holy cow, <laughs> holy cow, bro. And the, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's a very nice level of sweet. It's vanilla y, it's maple y, it's creamy, it's cornbread y. It's not too sweet. It's just that good level of sweetness. And it's honestly, you're going to laugh at me. Yeah, it's very maple vanilla urn, very maple vanilla, very maple vanilla. It reminds like the it's, and honestly, you'll, someone's going to laugh at me. The throaty level on it, good solid throaty level it's a good throat there was once upon a time a liquid laneco vapor my e it was my all-day vape i planned on vaping this liquid until i was never vaping again like this was going to be a liquid i vape the rest of my life because it was the perfect perfect throaty level perfect throaty level i need some throat i can't just inhale air and exhale air if i don't feel like i'm inhaling something other than air so i like a little bit of throat and this is a delightful like i can tell i'm inhaling something it's a little bit thick on the exhale it's almost up to the throatiness fence but it backs off a little bit and that's why i like it so much God, I wish I had, exactly, (laughs) microwave oven, exactly, I wish I had some sparkle pony left, but I drank it all, it is, it's a good, (laughs) if I had to rate it as a, it's a good throat, yeah, I need some, exactly, full tang wang, I need some throat, even if it's a lung, I need some throat, especially in a mouth to lung, I need throat, I need, I need like 12 milligram throat in a mouth to lung, Long drag e-liquid. I I have not. I cannot say that I have tried that e-liquid. Long drag? I love taking long drags. I love maple vanilla. I've been working on my own cornbread pudding. (laughs) Steve-o. Let me try it, bro. Let me try it. When it's there, let me try it. When it's there, let me try it. This is good. Straight up good, Earn. Straight up bomb. Bomb. Straight up busting. No mute. That is good. Good. Just straight up good. Country clouds. Cornbread pudding. This is 10 banana stickers. I've never given a random liquid tasting banana stickers before, but this is like, where have you been my whole life? Where have you been my whole life? Country Clouds Cornbread Pudding. And you have cool branding. And I've never tried a Country Clouds liquid. Dude, I used to love blueberry. Blueberry used to be my strawberry. I used to do blueberry everything. Just blueberry my life. I loved it. I loved it. You should try the apple cream cake first. Oh, okay. I I have a bottle of that, right, Steve-O? I got a bottle. Got a bottle? All right. The only good chocolate is Golden Ticket. I think we've established this last week. The only good, (laughs) the only good chocolate. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up. We went way too long again, you guys. And uh, I'm going to get to the super chats if there's any. It doesn't have to be. It's not a, oh, there, yeah, there's a few. Let me check in on the hella chats too. Oh, we got New Wave Dave. New Wave Dave. Raw Chuck, appreciate that. Skip around the room. Hell yeah, skip around the room if you want to. You can skip if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because if your friends don't skip, and if they don't skip, then they are no friends of mine. New Wave Dave. My cat and I played a drinking game once when every time the kid on Days and Confused would grab his nose, we have to take a shot. (laughs) We didn't make it halfway through the movie. Yeah, he... Why? What is that? Why does he... Oh, yeah. I'm over at the... Ah, sixer. <laughs> yeah, and he's always like, oh, oh, God, touching his face, touching his nose. Why does he do that? Why did we do that? Why did he do that? Oh, we didn't do the mail. I have one package. 
I have one package and I know what's in it. Fine, we'll throw it, we'll tack it on here at the end. Even without sound, even without sound. It's a package. It's a one singular package. And I'm gonna open it. But I already know who it's from and I already know what's inside. So that might not be the most exciting thing, but it is a package. Oh, look, I got cotton bacon. Oh, see, Ern, you gotta be quicker. You gotta be quicker. Beecher sent me uh, four packs of cotton bacon. Nope, five, six packs of cotton bacon. Oh, I just want to like throw that on the bed and roll around on it. And yes, uh, I left my hat in his car. I left my, oh, there it is, back home. I left my hat in his car. <laughs> I left my hat in his car when he was visiting me and uh, he got back home to Arizona and he said, hey, why is your hat in my car? And I said, I have no, honestly, no idea, no clue, no clue why that hat is in your car. And so he said he'd ship it back to me and he did with cotton bacon and, oh, 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 shit. This was mine. This was my, this was mine. And I lent it to him and he sent it back to me. Andy took his battery. What is he adjusting this for? Why are you getting in there, Beach? That's weird. Don't get to get in there. You got no business going in there. Oh, and he left me an 18650 battery. Sick. Or maybe I gave him an 18650 battery. Uh, yeah, I picked this up at... Uh, can't, why can't I remember the name of this company? I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this again soon. Man, I would give my everything to get an exposed battery on this that's the dream thanks beach thanks beacher appreciate you homeboy thank you for sending my hat back and my mod back and thank you for the cotton bacon now that i think is really truly the end except for the last super chats thanks guys thank you for hanging out with me tonight this has been a really fun ass time sick boy says working on work stuffs hey nick hey Appreciate you, pimp. Stay golden. Love you and the cool kids. S same back at you, sick boy. You stay golden. I appreciate you, pimp. And I love you and the cool kids. Hell yeah, sick boy. Na 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 na. Sick boy. Sick boy. <laughs> sick boy. Tim. T Bolt. 252 people watching and 59 thumbs up on YouTube. What's with that? Mash that thumb, damn it. Hey, Grim, love you, man. Cool Kids Club. Hell yeah, Cool Kids Club. And thank you, Tim. I love you too, man. Smash that like button. Just destroy it. Punch your computer. Everybody, everybody hit that like button. That would help me out in a, in a, in a real big way. Or you can hit the dislike button too. That actually helps me out in, in the exact same way. Vaping Bic, it's already started. Uh, we're fan funding for shipping to the Netherlands. All right. That those two euros are going to go directly to the shipping of this pod, which I, to the Netherlands, I don't think is going to be that big of that expensive. It's going in a small flat rate box. So I don't think we should have any problems. If it's, if it gets really bad, then, then we'll crowdfund it. But I don't think we, uh, I don't think we, uh, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, so hey, we're, we're, I'm going to say peace out, man. I'm going to say thank you for coming to hang out with me. It's vlog day. You know, I just, it's vlog day. This is like, this has become the the thing on my channel. It's, it's I love it. It's my baby. It's my favorite live stream. It's the most fun. It's the most like satisfying, just chill time that I love. And I'm glad you guys dig it. And thank you for hanging out. And yeah, we did four hours again. I know. I know. You know, but at least it wasn't like a 45 minute chunk of news and advocacy in one big spot, like an hour of news and advocacy right in the middle. 
I like the news chunks. I like chunk news. So we're going to stick with chunk news. And uh, thank you guys. Howard, Rifleman, Microwave, I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for coming out. I love you guys. I love this community. I love vaping. And uh, let's change the world. We're going to change the world. You guys didn't know? We're on board. We're going to change the world. 70 puffs for five tankfuls. Think about that for a second. But we're going to change the world, you guys. And I appreciate you. And uh, be excellent to each other. Be excellent to yourselves. And I'm going to say good night. And we're going we're gonna to say good night to the, the, the dulcet tones of its own boy OC. We need to start pestering him maybe a little bit on social media about the recoil AF. I'm going to start putting that bug in his ear, you know. Recoil AF might be a thing. Hashtag news chunks. Hashtag news chunks. Okay, let's say goodnight uh, with own boy OC. Oh, Beecher Howard. Bruh. Thank you, Beecher. Got it back. And this. Hey, see you in Indonesia. See you in Indonesia, bro. Say goodnight. Peace out, everybody. Have a great night. I love you. Here's on Boy OC. Good night. He believes he can fly. Let's go. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Any time of year. Dun, 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 dun. I believe I can fly.